Hey, what's going on? It's DJ. Welcome to the Comston Farm Supercut of episodes 11 through 20. This is a collection of the second 10 episodes in the series so that you can watch them one after the other with minimal interruptions and without having to select multiple videos. There is also a supercut of episodes 1 through 10, so check that one out if you haven't already. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy episodes 11 through 20 here on Comston Farm. So first, let's talk about the new addition to the farm. I have decided on a third tractor, and thanks to Stealth Bunger in the comment section of episode number 10 for suggesting this. This is the Steyr 9270, aka the Case IH 7200 series from Matt 26. This is available for all platforms, and if you want to download it, it's a, it's a mod hub. Check it out. It's one of the first mods that released. It is awesome. Plus, we have plenty, plenty of power, and we're going to be using that today, but not right off the bat <laughs> because, well, I'm going to use the FEM, but a little bit different. So I've gone and purchased a new bell trailer. So this one holds 28 bells. Not bad, but when you've got to move, I don't know, probably 100 today, more than that. Probably way more than that. Uh, this isn't going to get the job done. Not at all. One thing I do like about this, it's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit taller. And it loads very well. Unfortunately, I'm I'm going to have to sell this. And I don't want to. I don't want to do 18 grand. Oof. Well, we've got a new one right here. Let's go ahead and reset it. We'll hook up and get it put away. Now, this is longer, and I was worried about this from the start. We were going to buy this one. I decided not to, but we've done it anyways. The Ponge or Ponge or Pong? I don't, I don't know. Uh, po pokey? I have no idea how to say it. That word. That word right there. This holds 32 bales, which is incredible. There is a bit of an issue it's big it's very very long and i'm not sure that this is going to be the right trailer for this map that being said i'm going to do everything i can to make it work yeah but we don't need it right now what we need is fertilizer some will run over here to 82 studios buy literally anything station and we're going to fill up with some fertilizer one thing i've done to kind of help me <laughs> moving forward at least for this first harvest i've turned off plowing Normally, I don't like to do that. I like to keep that turned on that way. If it needs it, well, we have to do it. But I've turned it off. I think it's going to make things a little bit easier. You can see here we've got the soil composition. Well, no plowing is required, which is super, super nice, at least now. Because I plowed all this, like, three episodes ago or <laughs> something like that. So, fertilizer's going on first. This field, uh, well, using this tractor because it's quick. Then we're going to be hooking up the K, or sorry, the Steyr. We're going to get some planting. Then canola's going into the ground today, boys. Fertilizing is done, and I totally didn't mess up the first time and have to restart. Absolutely not. I would never do that. Not me. Never, ever, ever. Hopefully this has enough power to do its thing. Also, I did go back through down here and smooth this out. I hope I did a good job with the planter that I'm using. Yeah, you, you really have to go into landscaping going into sculpting, softening, bump it up to as high as it'll go, and just go up and down this all day. It's fine with massive cedars, and it's fine with smaller cedars, but somehow this area right here around the trees just hates, hates the limkin, which stinks, because I love this little thing. This was, uh, well, I said if it had direct drill in Farm Sim 19, this would be OP because it's cheap, low power requirement, and only does seed, no fertilizer, which I prefer. And it doesn't! It was like, what, the third, fourth week that the game came out? It's here! Yes! All right, so now this part's pretty simple. Ooh, and it is doing a pretty good job too. 15, 16 miles an hour, not bad, especially hiring on a worker. I'm not even gonna see this and you know, any other tractor that goes faster still wouldn't be going any faster than this so not too bad at all i'm gonna run around two headlands you guys know the drill and then i'm gonna hire it on a worker and then guess what i got a secret field into woods let's go and we are all set ready to go worker is hired and i've had no problems still having issues on the edge of the field though this planter really really does not like to follow the ground very much so maybe once some uh some John Deere stuff, maybe some case stuff starts coming out. We can get that to seed and plant everything. Regardless, next, I want to show you my secret field in the woods. Dude! 
Oxy added another secret found in the woods. Where are we right now? We are right here. So, uh, left of the chicken pen and the sheep. Here's your main farm right here in field three. Just go directly to the left of that. And it's this wooded area, but it's not a wooded area at all. It's just a line of trees surrounding a secret grass field into woods. So I'm going to utilize this field and we're going to plant the, or, uh, you know, do the thing. There's grass. So I'm going to make sure that I can go ahead and mow this and then we're going to plow it up and make it a field and, and actually make the grass work in here and make it do well. Dude, I'm excited. Drop that down. Why is the front mower got to follow directions, but the rear? I love these mowers. I do. Man, some they're like children. Uh, they're a little bit annoying sometimes. Drop, swap, dropping. Hey, it's good to mow it. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys along just to kind of show you. Who we have to turn some lights on in here. Uh, we'll kind of follow along at least around the edges. I haven't done this field before sometimes i'll come in in advance and get take a look and see and you know if i'm gonna work a field for the first time maybe i'll get a little bit extra work done or something like that but not today i've done literally nothing with this field Ooh, we're going a little bit slow let's go and speed that up a little bit we do have trees that are reaching all the way in so we do have to be careful about that but this is one of those that I think it's neat that, uh, ooh, missed a little bit there, uh, that Oxy's added this area right here, and it's it's part of owned land as well, which is super cool. So, you you could do this. Come over here, mow this, use it for some free grass. If you don't need grass, well, plow it up and plant something in here. The only issue is getting equipment in here. Now, grass working equipment is not gonna be a problem. However, pretty much anything else, might be difficult because the entrances well don't really exist too well we do have a couple entrances on the other side of the field and i'll show you guys those when we get around to the other side yeah but it's you know it's neat it's nice i like this i also like this massey ferguson a whole lot if you guys haven't checked it out yet go check it out the 8700s uh, this was a uh, blacked out version that we had. Of course, we had this in Farm Sim 19 as well. But in Farm Sim 17, this tractor was a PlayStation 4 exclusive. And I had to have it. I loved it. I actually used this on my Oakfield series. And this series is kind of a, a throw to that as well. I did a lot of grass work on that map. A lot of grass work. I had a great time doing it, but it was a lot of work that had to be done. And I'm having a really good time doing it here as well. The good thing is you get a lot of grass for how much you actually work in uh, 22, which is very, very nice. So real quick, there's a couple different ways you can get in here. Here's how I'm getting in. I'm going around this wall and then we've got our tennis court there right in front of us. And if we drive around in through here, you've got your garden, which connects over to the old horse pasture. So that's how I'm getting in. There's a couple other ways you can get in as well, but that seems to be the way that I've found that works the best, at least for me. So I'm gonna go around. We're gonna go ahead and hit these headland and, and just do this entire field. And we're going to be doing uh, just loose grass pickup with it as well. So we don't have to actually do a whole lot. I will have to come through and do like a miniature headland with the windrow or the mer merger, but Shouldn't be too bad. Everything's mown up, ready to go, but I still got to get out of here. Oof. You know, it's, it's not too bad. I just don't think it's meant to be used how I used it. Also, is it crop destruction on? It is, but I, I don't, I don't. That's not the right one. Back up, back up, back up. Woo -hoo -hoo. We almost got taken out. And because I decided to mow really, really awkward lines around the first headland, well, I gotta go through and do this so the loading wagon can actually get everything. Real quick, I made an addition to this farm that I didn't tell you guys about. And I wanna show you real quick because I totally forgot to mention it. And it's important because I haven't done this in, I don't know, since Farm Sim 17, I built a road. Ha <laughs> ha! So cool, huh? No, that's not it. Manure. Look at this. Yeah. I put down a manure pit all by myself. Now, this thing says it'll hold 4 million liters. 
I'm going to call its bluff. We'll see how long it takes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take. But the great thing is we could look down there at the bottom right-hand corner. We could see we've got 250 animals, health of 40%, but we've only had them for, what, half of a day, something like that. Four hours, five hours in-game. Uh, we've got food, milk, straw, slurry. We're doing good. And I think the trigger for the manure is, like, way over here. Yeah, it's right here, which is really awkward. But uh, anyway, 1,457. And that's just since I started recording this video pretty cool heck yeah man all right let's go pick up the loading wagon and let's get that grass picked up i wonder how much we got going through to get the last strip of grass right now and we've got a lot in here almost two hundred thousand. i bet we're gonna hit it. well if we don't hit it nah we're not gonna hit it through here but man that's a lot One hundred ninety-nine thousand four hundred seventy-one. We're going to have plenty of silage when it's all said and done. Also, I found a cheaty way through. It's on the other side, so it takes a little bit longer to drive around, but it's also much, much easier. So I think I should create my own way in there. It'd be kind of fun, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's take this grass. Let's take it over to the silo. We'll dump it in. We'll let it start doing its thing. Hopefully, we'll get some silage soon. And then it's going to be time to make some straw bales and... Well, we've got a lot. Currently, we've got field three, field five, and field 25. All straw ready to be collected. This is going to take a while. Okay, so I got an idea. You see this Samaz Twist 600 right here? I feel like it wants me to use it for, well, how much was that? Okay, thank goodness it wasn't a lot. I was really worried that it was going to be super expensive and I just bought like a $50,000 piece of equipment. We can't afford that. Some of you may already kind of tell what my, uh, the gears in my head, what's, what's left of them are turning. I'm going to put this on the front. And instead of only being able to reach one of these swaths, I'm going to try and hit two of them and get everything in one go. Now, I do have my weight on here, so I need to remove that. We'll put that up here, about right there. That'll work. And why not? We'll go ahead and give the whole thing a bath. I love that button. That's awesome. We'll go ahead and swing around. We'll pick this up here. Got it. So here's what I'm thinking. Swing them both open. Oh, I did not think about this right. Um... I kind of thought that it would be to the... I'm not sure what I thought, um, but but that's not what's happening right now. You know, we could use this for the loading wagon, so so that's... It, it, I didn't waste my money. You wasted your money. Get out of here. Okay, so where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by my own idiotic brain? Uh, we are going to make... A whole lot of straw bells today. We're gonna make a bunch. I don't know how many. A bunch. That's that's all I know. Oh, and I'm stuck already. Of course I am. Let's do a quick count, just real quick. We'll take a look at bells produced. Zero made today, but we've made 225 total. And I've also played for 27 hours. Not terrible. Let's see how many bells we can make after one field not too bad 49 bells although those are the big 240 centimeter versions after two fields we're up to 82 total bells which is just insane especially the, the, the big bell well, we said that the big bells look at that they're everywhere nearing the end of the stint now of doing bells and it, people ask me why i like to go fast why do i like to g why do i like to go fast and speedy well because it's taken me an hour with this baler to do all three fields this this is why i cheat <laughs> when when you record videos and when you do stuff like that during the day when you're making videos for youtube and things like that uh well sometimes time is of the essence and sometimes you need to get things done quickly and kind of move on get you a 20 minute video and go home um it it is quite literally taken 
As a matter of fact, I could tell you, uh, I've been playing for an hour and three minutes, and it's taken pretty much that entire time. So that's when I started the previous clips. 158 bales. We uh, didn't quite double the amount of bales that we have. We'll go ahead and uh, top that off, get that last straw bale out of there. Kaboom. Kaboom. Now is going to be the real fun part of picking all of these bells up and bringing them over. Now, when I bring them over, I'm just going to sit them beside the BGA. This seems like a pretty easy place. Prices are decent-ish. The thing is, straw. When can we sell straw? Well, let me show you. Go to straw. Go to show price fluctuations. You can see January right here. I think we showed that a couple clips ago. But uh, this video has taken me three days to record in real life. <laughs> That's what you get. Hey, at least we're getting these done, right? Okay, so let's take this. Let's get the baler. We'll uh, wash it, I guess. Haha, <laughs> I love that button. We'll go ahead and put this away. We've got to get our bell wagon, and we need to pick all of these bells up. Oh boy, that's going to take a little while as well, huh? I've taken some time and actually going ahead and moved some bells. Now, I've got all the bells off of this field because I... I still have a lot to do. Guys, this is taking me so long to record this specific Let's Play. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to put that there. We need to jump in here because I need to put fertilizer down on this field and I need to get it seeded quick. Otherwise, it's just going to take forever. And I believe it was how many days? Three episodes? Maybe four? That it actually took to run the first couple episodes it was ridiculous the same day it was, it was absolutely insane so what i'm trying to do is uh, limit that as much as possible by trying to get some you know some easy stuff done yes we've just restarted the series with the new update and things like that so we're trying really hard by the way if you haven't seen the last episode episode number 10 definitely check that out also at the time of you guys watching this we should be getting ready to release the episode one through ten supercut so you definitely want to be on the lookout for that uh it's about three and a half hours long but there's minimal ads uh, instead of one like every you know, five or seven minutes i think there's one like every 20 minutes or something like that so uh it's for you guys that want to binge watch the entire thing sit back relax uh, treat it kind of like a movie. Season one of something like that. Anyway, I'm going to go and get this fertilized and I'm going to go ahead and start running a cedar on here as well. So we're going to be doing, ooh, we missed a little bit. We'll have to turn around. Uh, we're going to be running canola on all of the fields, all three of the big fields. And then of course, the massive, massive field going to be running grass in that. I'll probably get that planted off screen though. There is one thing that I've wondered about for a while and I still can't figure it out. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to call this. A dirt skirt? <laughs> I'm not sure. You could see that it's still showing barley on the edges right here. I don't know if it's because it needs to be plowed or what. Uh, this happened on the base game maps as well. Uh, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on here. What I do know is that I'm going to plow this up. Yeah. Uh, this field does not need plowing in any way shape or form but this seems to be the only way to do this well this is cultivating really you could just rip up the ground and be good so direct drills for some reason do not like to run this little section you can see right here as we keep going what it looks like before trying to seed i don't i don't know man i don't know I know how to fix it, so at least there's that. We're finishing up, picking up all the bells right now. We've got, I think, four stacks of here. Yeah, four stacks of 32 each. And this is going to be a stack of 31, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So there you go. That is your uh, straw harvest. <laughs> year 1.1? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what year it is anymore. It's 2022. That's all I know. All right. Let's put this away. Let's set these nice to the side there. There we go. We're off center just a little bit, but that's all right. Drop them and we're done. Let's take this back over to the main farm. We'll get it put away because we don't need this trailer anymore. I'm going to hook up the roller to the back of the Massey and we're still getting stuff done. We're still getting stuff uh, rolling and moving and grooving. You, you guys know how it is. All right, let's get this party started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is plowing up a few fields. Let's take a look at the ones we're doing because you might want to do these too. 
So what I'm going to do is the horse pasture. I've already sold all the stuff in that previous episode. We're also going to be selling up 35. And you can see in here, we're going to be doing this as well. Now, one of the neat things is it looks like this might already be plowed up for whatever reason. I didn't do it, but <laughs> it looks like it is. So we'll, we'll kind of poke our way in there just to take a look and see. You see, grass is all in that. I... I'm not sure what's going on with that. So we're going to get in there and get that done as well. Coming around through here, we've got three fields to do, and this is our first one. I want to show you how I do this. Maybe I do this differently than you, and you're going to be like, DJ, you're doing that such the hard way. You got to change it up, man. Or maybe I'm doing this in a way that you might find interesting. So I'm going to leave. Eh, I'm kind of back and forth about leaving this open and closed. We'll, we'll go ahead and close it up. We're going to drop this down. We'll turn on create fields. I start usually near the edge, near a uh, turn like this, so that I actually have to get that turn. A lot of people will start in the corner, and you get kind of a squared off first. Okay, well, I guess that's a placeable and not uh, drawn into the ground. Eh, fine for me, whatever. We'll come through here. Also, somebody had mentioned that there's a way through into the secret field into woods. We will take a look at that. Spin around right here. There you go. Very nice. Now, grass is probably going to be growing up on the edges of this. So, I don't want to get too close to it. Also, uh, in real life today, I'm having a little bit of asthma trouble. So, if you hear me coughing or anything like that, I apologize. I'll try my best to edit those out. Just heads up. I know a lot of you guys, this time of year, it gets to you. Hey, I'm just a normal person like y'all. It does the same thing to me. So, there you go. That's uh, this is kind of my <laughs> my my run right here. I will also run a second headland around this, uh, and then I will probably just go back and forth. I've also got a big plow over there. That's going to be what I'm going to use for all of that. So that is step one done. I don't need to use the smaller plow for this. But yeah, another thing. People ask me why well, use the smaller plow. Just use the larger one. Get the job done twice as fast. I will, but I like the precision of the smaller one. So, uh, the, I like both. <laughs> you guys just got to download both. Go into your plows, go find your 6MT, 9MT, buy one of each. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. They're great. I love those. Oh, and one more thing, because I got called out for this in the comment section of the last video. Uh, I'm very, very aware that I did not get bees. We will get bees today, I promise. Even if I have to force it, we will buy bees today. I got you, fam. I got you. <laughs> All right, let's get through this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this setup, and then we'll go ahead and do some big plowing, and we'll head into the uh, secret field into woods. All right, we already got a problem. Not a big one, but I just want to share this with you guys. So this area is super bumpy. Really, really bumpy. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of help. We're just going to try and smooth some of this out to make it a little bit less bumpy. Beforehand, this was a pig field, and that's totally fine with it being bumpy. However, we're going to be working this field now, and I don't want it to be bumpy. I'm not a big fan of bumpy fields. I understand it's realistic. My front yard is bumpy. Uh, I bounce up and down when I'm mowing the yard. Yeah, I get it. This is a video game. I don't want it to be bumpy, man. Just nice and smooth, bro. Nice and smooth. And lastly, our secret field in the woods. We're over here. You can see it's fertilized. Now, I think this is actually showing up as a field. I can't be sure, but I think it's actually representing itself as a field, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I didn't hit plow right there yet, and it was already plowing that up. So this is definitely a field. I'm going to go through and plow this up just in case anyway. Actually, I really don't need to do this part, do I, huh? Uh, we still need to get in here because it is a field uh, that we're working. We need to roll it. We've got to do quite a few things to it. So we may as well do this part. Yeah, might as well. Turns out our not-so-secret field in the woods does not need to be plowed up. And if you've got periodic plowing turned off, you don't need to do anything with it. It's just ready to go. Fertilize, do, do what you need to do. You're fresh, homie. You're fresh. 
All right, so what do we have left to do? Well, I've actually backed out and restarted because I would have had to have planted. Well, that's just gonna be more work to have to do. So I'm just gonna go through here. We're gonna get the rest of this stuff plowed up and then we've gotta come through and plant and then roll and fertilize. And we should, at that point, be completely done, at least with this area right here, with these two fields. We're also gonna have to go fertilize in our secret field in the woods. And then we'll be done with this area. And then we gotta plow up some interesting spots of fields, which is really, really gonna be interesting. Anyway, I'll check in with you throughout the progress so you guys can see what I'm up to. Now that the plowing's done, every field needs to be fertilized. So we've got the two fields behind us that we plowed up. We've got our singular field right here. I believe this field number four. Yep, field number four. Plus, we've got our secret field in Dewitt. So, let's get it started. Fertilizing's out of the way. Everything is looking good so far. We don't really have a whole lot extra work to do. Just these two fields right here. And that's it. Drop it down, enable speed farming. Kaboom, baby, let's go! Grass into the ground and uh, harvest in like, I don't know, a, a week. Yeah! Planting's done. Now we gotta get this rolling done. I'm not saying this is my least favorite job in Farm Sim, but I would quite literally want to do anything. <laughs> other than rolling and please don't go back and look at my first let's play where i said rolling was so much fun and i loved it and it was one of my favorite new parts of farming simulator please don't go look at that part no all right the last part that we need to do before we get anything else finished up is we got to put one last bit of fertilizer on as you can see it's not really hitting everything <laughs> because some of this was actually already a field which is really, really interesting. So the parts that was a field, we're fertilizing right now. And the parts that were not a field got fertilized when we plowed it up. I know it's a little bit confusing, but the good thing is once we get this last bit of fertilizer down, it's not going to be real weird like this anymore. It's actually going to look pretty normal. Like whenever I finish this, I'll show you the PDA and it actually doesn't look too bad. All right. So speckled field, right? Well, in here. Fairly normalish field. Uh, there's still some spots that I missed rolling. I don't. I don't care. I really just don't care. You see, down at the bottom, we're looking good. Whatever. Uh, there is a 98% yield bonus uh, instead of a 100% yield bonus on a lot of my land. I can't remember if that's because I haven't gone through and done what it wants me to do, uh, which I think is like plowing or lime something like that i mean i've got lime turned off plowing's turned off i've got the uh weeds turned off so these are these are a few things that i have turned off man it makes life easy though <laughs> all right so fertilizing is done all the fields every one of our fields has been fertilized it's good it's done it's ready to go um and for those of you that mentioned yes i, I realized pretty late on uh, that I could have bought field 5 instead of 25 and used that as my grass field and been way closer to myself. But then again, there's not really a sell point over there. So maybe one day we will own that field. Until then, we're going to have to go put this way because we missed some spots in our fields. It was weird. I don't know what happened. We got spots in our fields that we've missed. So we're gonna go fill those in real quick. And here's my contraption to do it. So I've got my Massey Fargus in here. We're gonna unfold the cedar. We're gonna unfold the plow. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna find these little spots that for some reason, we're not having it. This is one right here. I don't know how these pop up. I don't know what the problem is, but if we go in here, all of these spots are right. Well, it says needs rolling, but I, th I think there's more to it than that. Uh, they're, they're like everywhere. Uh, for, all right, real quick. I'll just show you that it doesn't need rolling. How about that? All right, so we're in here. We got this little spot right here. I don't know why it's there. I've rolled over it. I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. Drop this down. We'll go over it as such. And it just stays like that. I don't, I don't know what it is, what I've done, what I haven't done. No idea. We got a couple little dots right here. You see these little dots? 
We'll go through, see if we can roll these over, make the dots disappear. All right. All right, well, that seemed to work. It did not work the time before that. Maybe I just let these grow and see what happens? Uh, maybe that's maybe that's the best thing to do in this situation. I don't know what's going on. All right, maybe that's maybe that's what we do. We go through and we fertilize the first time around. We harvest and then we see what happens. Well, certainly, oh yay! Uh, certainly saves me a whole lot of work then, doesn't it? So I want to put down some bees, and I've gone into the help menu because I cannot for the life of me find where they have said how close or how far away they need to be. It just says that uh, place them next to the fields that uh, will have canola, sunflower, potatoes, and you can increase your yield. But it doesn't say what the yield increase is or how close they need to be. So I'm thinking we go in here, we go to aminals, b -b 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 bees, and we find ourselves, eh, these, eh, these, these are fine. I don't know. You know, these are okay. These are these are all right. We're we're doing good. We're doing all right. I thought about maybe putting them over here because I don't do anything with this area. There's nothing here. There's nothing to do, and I use this area right here as a shortcut, not this area. I don't even drive in here. I just drive straight over the crop. So I'm thinking maybe put them here, and they're pretty close to this field. So we should get a uh, a nice little b -b -b bonus, yeah. There we go. We'll place those down. So they are kind of expensive each. They're nineteen thousand dollars plus the cost of uh, leveling out the ground. So the question would be, do we want to <laughs> be? Uh, do we want to put more? Because we can get more honey at least. I don't know if it's going to increase the yield the more honey bee things we have, but. I think for right now, that's okay. At least two. Uh, we could also place one maybe over here. So I don't use this gate for anything. So technically, we could just place one like right here. And this would be between the two fields. So we could still get our bonus there. I had also considered placing a few down here. So we do have a freely placeable area down here on the other side of this. So I had thought about... Putting uh, putting some areas here. Now, if we try and use the the place, it just kind of slides through. But if we get our mouse in here, we can actually place this properly. So I thought about maybe putting a couple here as well. It doesn't really matter where your honeybees are. It matters where your, your cell palette is. So I, I thought about maybe one more there. But I think for now, we're going to leave it be. <laughs> Yep, did that on purpose. Next, we got to figure out where we're going to put our honey cell point. So what I would like to do is to find where it lets us in. My mouse has disappeared. There we go. Uh, where it lets us sell our honey. I don't think there's anywhere for us to sell honey. Is there? Okay, there is. This is good. Uh, so the next thing is placing the honey down so that it sells all the time with one exception. Well, the prices fluctuate a lot, and they're going to produce honey every single day. So where do we put it? Well, I made my choice, and it was actually a pretty easy choice to make, considering that this is where I'm putting all my pallets anyway. Well, it just makes sense to put these here. Now, I don't know if I want to place it. Let's see, 212. This one's 15 grand. I thought about putting one of these down. This is nice because these will deliver your honey, so you don't have to deliver it. This will not. So there's a, there's a bit of a price difference. Plus, this holds more. I thought about getting one of these placed down, maybe like right here or something like that, even though this whole area is going to be production chains eventually. I thought maybe this is the perfect place to put this. Flattening failed. Your face has failed. Get out of here. <laughs> Quote me on that one if you want to. Uh... Yeah, I think about right in here is good, but unfortunately, those wool pallets are way, way in our way right now. All right, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Let's put this down. I want to put it maybe as close, far away up here as possible. We don't need that trigger in the very back, so we can keep keep well away from that. Maybe about right in here. Yeah, all right, that looks good. Place it down. Hopefully, it didn't cause any issues. How you looking? 
Looking good. We do need to smooth a few things out real quick. It, this is, I mean, it's pretty easy. Ooh, a little shaky. Thanks, OBS. You are awesome. Let's smooth this out. Sculpting. Soften. Yeah. Soften it out. Let's go. Perfect. So now all of our honey will come here because we've got kind of an in and out. Honey in, honey out. It's it's actually pretty genius. Uh, production cost per month because it's going to cost me $50 a day. Uh, so that's, you know, it is what it is. We do need to figure out how we're going to do things. What's nice is you can throw storage in and this is where the honey comes out. So I need to figure out all right, so let's activate it. Right now it is storing it, so we'll store it inside. We can have it sell it or distribute it somewhere else. However, we don't have anywhere to distribute, so right now we're just going to have to stick with storing because we've got uh, virtually an entire year to wait before we can actually do anything with this. So at this point, we've done basically everything that we could possibly get into, possibly manage, possibly do, other than whatever I'm doing right now, I've actually got to go over here and manage the wool because wool is interesting because I've got, what, 250 sheep and I think this is going to fill up once every about 20 hours or so. Uh, looks like there's only one pallet over there right now, but that's going to increase dramatically. So I need to prepare myself to be picking up wool pallets. We've also got our chickens in there. They're going to be producing, so that's going to be there. Man, we are in it now. I think I've done everything that I needed to do to prepare ourselves for moving forward. We've got our new game set up. We've got everything that we needed to do done. I think at this point, we can fast forward until the next day in game and well, see what happens. Well, good morning to a super rainy, icky September morning. We've got a couple chores around. We've got cool that needs to be done. As a matter of fact, I don't actually need to pick this up. I think just putting it to the side will work. Uh, the sheep did not produce half as much wool as I thought they would. It, quite literally, uh, they produced, what, three pallets overnight? Not as much as I thought they would. Let's also go down into our animals. We have to double check and see. So reproduction rate on chickens is fine, but we maxed out. So that's not going to help any. Reproduction rate is low on our sheep, but that will go up over time. And the reproduction rate on our cows is actually really good. And they're looking great on everything that they've possibly got. So we've got good amount of milk, 35 gram, or 35 gram, 35,000. Straw, do not pay attention to that number. It's 81,000. And slurry, we've got 51,000 liters of slurry. I am planning on utilizing the slurry and the manure for fertilizer, at least at this point, I might go back on my word there. So just <laughs> bear with me. One of the great things about slurry is you could do double rate application. So if we've got enough, I could modify a trailer and instead of spreading fertilizer twice, we could put slurry down once and be completely done with it. And as a matter of fact, we've got quite a few pieces of equipment that allow us some really neat things so if we go into slurry tanks we've got like some massive drag hoses and things like that see if i can find one so like right here 36 meters absolutely massive huge huge amount of stuff there we've even got a few things in i think is it a miscellaneous no no where where is it forestry no grape technology no, no. huh animals maybe no uh <laughs> <laughs> help large tractors possibly yeah i think this is gonna be where it is so we've got a class you know what i can't i can't do this where's where's my brands let's just go to c go to class this is gonna make it a lot easier you guys know what i'm looking for i just can't freaking find it come on there we go saddle track i don't know where this was but we've got this Right, so we could get maybe a big saddle track, big Zarian right here, uh, and spread with that. That would do fertilizer pretty well. Plus, we could utilize that as a big tractor. I mean, we have 400, almost 500 horsepower on it. That's a lot of power. Let's double check our manure as well. Looks like manure pile is going up pretty good. So, uh, 2,900 liters. Not a lot, but enough. Some, I think, the, yeah, the word some comes to mind. And uh, slurry is starting to 
accumulate down at the bottom. So a lot of hard work seems to be paying off pretty well. And I think at this point we could probably fast forward possibly another day in game because well, there's nothing, nothing going on. And if we go take a look at sell prices because we're not putting down any of our placeables and things like that yet. So we're just going to be selling off things that we have. So that stuff's staying. However, this stuff, we're going to be selling this stuff. If we show price fluctuations, we're showing January for all of those. So we're going to have to wait. But rest of the stuff's looking good. Our day today starts with not grass work, but with eggs. And we've got a total of uh, one and a half pallets. That's all we got. Fortunately for us, it's been, I think, only two days in game, something like that. It is November. Just a heads up. I think it was August the last time we saw this. Yeah, it took us a few days. So we're going to be taking our eggs and we're going to be going to the general store bay number one. This is giving us the most amount of money just by a few bucks, but the most amount of money indeed here. So check this out. If you go in, you go seasonal fluctuations. Sorry, it's early in the morning for me recording and my mouth doesn't work yet. November is giving us our highest peak. Well, it's November. So let's go get these sold. And hopefully in the meantime, I can wake up on the way there. I don't expect to get a ton of money for these. I mean, it's only about 2000 liters worth of eggs, but this is going to be good because it kind of starts off our money making time. We've gone almost two years now. We almost started making money and then an update came out. And unfortunately we had to stop doing our gameplay because of that. Well, the good thing for us is we're back. We're ready to go. We've got a ton of stuff to sell as well. If you guys are following along tomorrow in game, at least, uh, in December. Ooh, let's not go over that. I don't know if I can sell eggs there or not. Uh, tomorrow in game, we're going to be getting a lot. We're going to be selling wheat. We're going to be selling the barley. We're going to be selling the oats. We're going to be selling the canola. We're not selling eggs? No, we are. We are selling the eggs. Okay. Money's going up, so that's good. Uh, and we're also going to be selling straw tomorrow as well. We have <laughs> a lot of bells that we're going to make even more. All right. There it is. $5,100 in the bank. So I think if I'm not mistaken, at least for this series, that is the first money we've actually made because we're not using any cheats on here. We're not using any hacks. I'm not taking the loan and making it 0% interest so that I could just take out whatever loan that I want. I don't have any money mods in. Yeah, we're going fast, but eh. This stuff takes a while. I'd rather just get it done quicker. Still do all the work, right? Right? Before we get started with mowing, I did want to show you guys this. We have been busy. Very, very busy. So we've got everything kind of moved around doing its thing. Actually, we've got a bunch of honey pallets over here, and I'm worried that they're going to be taking up a little extra space. Let's pick these up real quick. I should be able to pick them up, no problem with this. Turn it on, do to do loading fill type, euro... And we'll come through here. Yeah, it's giving me the option to pick these up. Boop, 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 boop. Got them. Ah, oh, now I got them. All right, let's take these to the side. So we've got a bunch of honey on here. I think this holds 31,000 liters, which is pretty darn good. But we don't need 31,000 liters. We've got 2,800 right here. We're, we're, we're doing okay. Also, we don't want to leave these on here, so we will boop them off but I don't need that anymore. So we're just gonna leave that sitting there. What I need is to show you how much wool we've got. Yes, sir. Check this out. <laughs> we got plenty of wool, man. Uh, I don't know. I think this is 32 and then some more and they're a thousand liters each. Yeah, we're gonna make plenty of money on wool. Actually, ooh, real quick, I wanna know. All right, so now's not the time. I think it's in May, yeah. We're in May. We're in November here. Prices are low. We're going to be making a lot of money, baby. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's time to get to work. Let's get rid of that help window. We don't need that anymore. Let's get this done. What are we doing today, at least mowing wise? Well, pretty simple. We're going to be doing 35 right here. I'm going to do the field south of that. We're going to do the field west of that right there. The secret field in Dwoods. And then I'm going to come hire a worker on field 25. I have decided that the end goal is to be able to get field 5. So I'm going to trade 
Field 25 for field number five. Field number five is closest to us. It's on the same road. I don't have to bring anything over. And if I decide to not use a, a grass in it for whatever reason, if I want to do, you know, canola right here, which we're going to be harvesting the next time around, that's going to be easy. Plus, straight. Hard worker. Be done with it. Nice and easy. Good to go. Cool. Let's get these unfolded. Let's get them dropped down. Set my worker on a nice little spot right here. I say worker. I'm going to do this myself. And then rock and roll. Oh, we should probably make sure. Working speed, 22. Good. Talk of working mode. I don't... I don't know what the working mode's on. Swat dropping. Perfect. Turn it on. Turn it on. And let's go. And about 30 minutes of real life later, we are almost done. And I'm at least done with what I personally have to do. But we've still got to go to the largest one. Field 25 and hire a worker on it. It's going to take a hot minute. But just wanted to show you what we've accomplished since we've been off screen. So we've got all three of the fields done here. I forgot there were three fields here that I needed to do. Not just two. Plus, we just uh, came from the secret field in Du Woods. Now, I do know a lot of you guys have been talking about this area up here. Saying, DJ, there's also a secret field right above the store. This is true. I mean, kind of. Uh, let, let's take a look at it real quick. So if I go over here and we select grass, okay, showing up just fine. We deselect it. It's not actually showing as a field. I could jump over here real quick and at least show it to you. It's very easy to get to. And you can come over here, mow this, and then plow it up and plant grass or make it a free field, whatever you guys want to do with it. I'm probably not going to be doing that. However, you can if you want to. I mean, it's owned land. And there's quite a bit of it over here. So just check it out. If you guys are looking for free land, free area, check it out. It's a little bit far away from my farm that I really want to be going to, even though Field 25 is pretty much exactly the same distance. Uh, I won't say that out loud if you won't. <laughs> so we've gotten all that done. I did mention it in a previous episode, and I'm sure some of you guys will notice. I did not mow the uh, sheep field, nor did I mow the cow field, even though those are technically fields. I think they both even have field numbers on them. Well, because we've got animals in those, I'm not going to be mowing them. I don't know if that's realistic, not realistic, whatever, but I'm not going to be mowing those fields just because the animals are in there. I did the same thing in Farming Simulator 19 and 17 as well. Once we got animals in a pen, I usually did not mow that pen anymore. So I don't even think there's fertilizer in there. I did switch all that. So good to go there. Now we've got to head over to the largest field that we've got, field 25. I think this is going to be too much. I mean, we're getting three harvests, three grass harvests per year. And I don't think that we need to get three harvests off of this field every year. I mean, we could probably make some silage bells or something to sell them at the BGA. That's probably going to be plenty. Woo! This is a big old grass field, man. I'm kind of losing myself right here. All right. Let's drop it down. Dude, leave me alone. Uh, these front mowers do not like me. I'll tell you what. All right, so what i got to do is I've got to run our headlands. They're going to be a little bit different than the way that I normally do them because I don't want to waste a bunch of time. Whereas normally, I tend to waste time running headlands. Uh, I'm going to try and behave this time around. I don't know. We'll find out and see what happens. Well, I would say we've done pretty good. Over here. Hey. That didn't show anything, did it? <laughs> Man, it is still too early. It's the morning after the Super Bowl, and I'm in a food coma still. Yes, sir. All right, let's line this up. I'm going to try and offset it just a little bit, because if we come in here, we can see uh, it, it does go over just a little bit. So we're trying to line this up, see if I can get to 90 degrees. About right there is good. Hire a worker, and they're going to do their little thing right here. Hopefully they don't miss too much. All right. And off they go. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit on the other side whenever they get to the end. I don't think they're going to miss any on this side of the field. No, nope. but we are going to have this little, you know, the little triangle area on the other side. I will have to do that. But then I can just hire this guy back on a worker and be done with it. Because as soon as I do that, we get to go pick all of this up. Yay! And I bet you're curious, how much does the loading wagon that I have hold? 
Well, why don't we find out? One million. It, uh, <laughs> it holds one million liters. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. All right. I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do all this. All right, got to drop down. We need to turn some lights on. Let's cut the F1 menu on just so I can double check and see what I'm doing. All right, so that's how that works. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and turn on our loading wagon. Uh, and we'll figure out if this is going to work or if I need to go faster, slower, what's going to happen here. So I've taken the base game uh, Pottinger. So if we go in, we go to tools, we go down to loading wagons, forge wagons here. I've just taken the base game one, so nothing too crazy here. And if I slide down a little bit, uh, we should find it in the DJ Go Ham pack. Here we go, DJ Go Ham modded tools right here. Literally exactly the same, just holds one million liters. I figured that'd be easiest. I needed a loading wagon that this trailer could pull, or this tractor rather could pull, but I wasn't quite sure exactly which one I was gonna use. Also, I'm not sure if this is gonna pick up everything in turns. But I guess the answer to that question is 100% no. All right, well, uh, this is still working pretty well nonetheless. Doesn't seem to be missing much, if anything, even at quick speeds. So that's good. Uh, just in the turns. All right, so note to self, don't turn with this piece of equipment. Hey, the good thing is it's still windrowing it all together so I can still come back through and get it all but this is definitely something that you guys need to invest in this thing of course i'm going super super fast but I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what this is it's the samaz windrow if i'm correct yeah the samaz twist 600 there's no customization to it whatsoever it just kind of is what it is and it, it's for all platforms which is incredible goes on the front of your tractor and it, you could you put a baler behind it a loading wagon whatever you need to do and it picks it all up. <laughs> I've also heard that there's another modder that's supposed to be bringing something together. Uh, Hispano modding. Something like we've got in, uh, uh, what is it, on the, the front of those big mowers? so Or big uh, balers, rather. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, one thing I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of this stuff from the outside of the uh, field. That way, I don't have to do it later. This is good. Plus, one cool thing, our mower here, he's doing a great job, is missing a little bit here and there, uh, as you could tell, but we'll we'll come through and we'll fix that. But at least for now, I'm going to try and go through and see how much of this I could pick up. I don't want to bother you guys with just going back and forth in the fields like this, because we've got other stuff to do today, stuff that I want to do. But this still is pretty cool piece of candy. So I've been running this thing for, I don't know, two or three minutes now, something like that, and it is epic. Dude! So the, the loading wagon, there's nothing special about it. All it does is holds more, that's it, and doesn't weigh a bunch whenever you put a bunch on it. But this front piece, man, this Samaz is killing it. Look at this. Look at all the way over the side. It doesn't matter. No matter how fast I go, it doesn't care. Uh, the baler that we've got, you gotta be careful because the baler can only pick up so much at a time. I'm probably gonna have to modify that baler just so it'll pick up more quicker. This thing? No! No sir! This is epic! I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I, I can't, I can't sit around all day doing this. Oh, miss some. Uh, I can't sit around all day doing this. It's gonna take me forever. So I am gonna have to go ahead and lease or do something with the, uh, uh, rapid the wind row. Uh, we're gonna use that to get the rest of this done. Fortunately for us, uh, because <laughs> well, I started recording this before doing a mod news day, so I'll record generally for like an hour to an hour and a half before getting work done, and then I'll turn around. Let's see. We'll go ahead and oh, we gotta turn that off first, huh? Raise it, and then fold it. Possibly. There we go. Yes. Uh, so I normally record these videos in early morning before doing any of the other stuff. Uh, so I normally would just let this sit while I'm doing farm some news. So like this guy's already done. Yeah, it's just it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, it's gorgeous, by the way. This area, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. That's awesome. I still think I'm going to do silage bales. 
I'm I'm still kind of back and forth on all that. As far as the one field around here, by the way, yeah, that was the only field that I picked up. We got 181,000 liters of grass off of that. So that's pretty good. What I've decided is that of everything we pick up, 40% will be set to silage. 40% will be made as hay. So we'll do a half and half there. And then the remaining 20% will be kept. And we're going to use that for just grass, for feeding the sheep and things like that. As a matter of fact, I could probably go ahead and feed them now but we'll, we'll do that later <laughs> i'm gonna we'll feed we'll feed everybody right when we need to so here's what i'm gonna do to make my life a little bit easier because i'm gonna be here all day i'm gonna be here all day i don't i don't want to i don't want to do it i don't want to be here all day <laughs> it's supposed to be fun it's not supposed to be work i don't want to do it there's a lot to do so i'm gonna take the loading wagon here we're gonna dump it and then I'm gonna go lease the big one. I know you guys like to see that one. We haven't used it a lot, at least on the on screen. Let's empty this and see how it looks and how fast it dumps. All right, so that's gonna take a while. While we're at it, let's go in here to Forge Wagons. Let's find ourselves a handy dandy this. There we go. We'll throw, uh, let's see, it's a one million liter or I think 10, 10 million liter? Yeah, so we'll just do the 10 million. We'll do a trailer board. We'll set up cool windrow system. Absolutely. Since we are using the Massey, I say that we go full blackout mode. Yeah, something like that. That'll work. And then rims, we'll go with a uh, black there as well. That is looking fresh. Uh, it is going to cost us a little bit of cash to lease it, though. $7,700. And I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go back on that. If it costs money to use it, we're going to... We're going to have to pay. Yeah. I did buy this Pottinger, by the way. Kind of excited about this thing. Though. Let's back it up and have a little bit of fun in the video today. How's about that? <laughs> I got so excited I dropped my weight. <laughs> oh, that's way funnier than it should have been. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I think before I had said that we needed to fertilize the grass fields. I don't think that's going to happen today. Not... Not with the amount of time that we've got. Also, we gotta figure out exactly what we're gonna do with the grass for field 25. Ooh, this is heavy. Oh, this is a lot heavier than it was in Farming Simulator 19. I should probably go in and modify the weight a little bit of this thing, because that's, it is quite heavy. Um, yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that, because I think there's probably gonna be about two million liters of grass on that field. I don't know for sure. I'm just ballparking. I'm sure most of you guys would have good or better guesses than I do, but I think there's going to be a lot of grass on that field. So we got to figure out what are we going to do with it? Are we going to do loose grass? Are we going to bale it up? Are we going to do it in this episode? We're going to do it in the next episode. Are we going to get like this again? Wee, 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 wee. Why did I lower the front weight? <laughs> no one does that. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, I got to figure out exactly what we're going to do with all of that again there's a ton of it i think maybe the best thing to do would be to make some silage bells and then try and sell those but even silage because silage bells are pretty simple to make the thing is whenever we get in and we start looking at silage it just like everything else has price fluctuations so we can't just let it sell throughout the year because it's gonna take a while i guess i could go in and modify the bga Unfortunately, I gotta tell you, I don't know how to do that yet. I've been messing around with the code, but I still haven't got it all figured out. So we don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, we'll have to get it all sorted and figured out definitely because there's a lot going on up there. Whatever we do, we need to make sure we're making money. So that's that's kind of the, the big thing there. I think with three harvests per year, these grass fields in this area... I think these are going to be totally fine for us with the bonus being 25. So maybe, now go with me here. Uh, just listen to this one. Maybe we don't always do grass. Now it is kind of nice having your largest field not have to be planted every, you know, three, four months. Because obviously we're going to be getting quite a few extra harvests out of fields. But I don't know. Like I said, there's, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot going on. We're doing pretty well. We're one day away from, I would guess, over a million dollars coming in. Only one day away. 
And I'm pretty pumped about it. Because we're going to get a lot of cash. But I wonder how many grass... How much... How, how many? You know, we should probably just go to the outro because this whole episode's just been me trying to figure out how to say words. Let's, let's just put me out of my misery. How about that? So let's start the episode with something that you probably didn't imagine I'd be doing. I'm going to buy a new weight for the tractor. Yes! I don't... Why? Well, I've been chatting with Polly Count Taz uh, the past couple days, and he's got a, a uh, weight out. Now, if we can go through and find this bad boy, it's the self-made weight. And I'll actually explain why it's called the self-made weight, because this is kind of cool. This has a, a story to it, which is neat. I didn't know about. I think about 900 kg should be pretty good for the front of it. This is something that's really used on his family farm. Even the hydraulic pin right here as well. They did that so they didn't have to get out of the tractor and go cha-ching and make it work. How cool is that? I need to go in here. I need to change this to case IH red and then design. I think I'm going to do like a beige. I think that'll work pretty well with the styre that we've got. <laughs> I think that's beige. I don't know. Let's, let's get in here and go whoosh. I <laughs> love that button. Let's reset the weight just to make sure that it fits the color options properly. But uh, yeah, he was telling me that this is something he really uses. He sent over a video of this piece of equipment on his uh, family farm. I was like, that's awesome. Why am I not using that? He's like, I don't know, man. So we're going to use it from now on. We're going to hook it up. Kaboom. Yes. Definitely looks a little bit more cool rather than just a boring weight till the front doesn't it yes it does all right so now we've got that i think we're done with this tractor for the whole episode so i'm gonna put it away sorry bro anyway that's a really cool weight i love that thing next we need to head down to the bga because we're gonna place another mod down from another friend of the channel omatana we're gonna be using her fermenting silo and well if you know me uh, you know i've probably done something to it omatana i'm so sorry <laughs> I added the words modded to the end of it. Uh, I may have added two zeros to every number that you had, uh, except for one of the numbers. Uh, we'll share what those numbers are later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down over here, maybe like in the corner, something like that. So we got a back end to fill this up, but it leaves us room. Well, I'll, I'll just I'll just show you later. So I'm going to place this about right in here-ish back about as far as we can because we're going to be using a belt system to run the silage into the fermenter uh, it's going to take it a little while so might as well do it like that kaboom just like so uh this is going to make us way more than 30 grand so i'm totally fine placing this down in here yes oh i'm so excited if you guys are not familiar with this mod you really need to go download it so what this will do is it takes grass hay or chaff and turns it into silage. Now, I've added, like I said, a couple zeros to the end. So normally it does 1,000 cycles every, I think it's like 12 minutes in game, something like that. It runs five cycles per hour. Well, I've made mine do 100,000, and it holds more. It holds, it, it might hold 10 million liters. By the way, base code, this holds 2 million liters of each crop. You can put a lot in here. I didn't even need to change that. We're also going to need a belt system to be able to go from here over to here. I think it'd be pretty cool. I, I don't know if you can actually dump stuff there or not. Uh, this is using the base game Planet BGA, so it's not modified in any way. Once I can figure out exactly how to do that, I'm going to do that. But the BGAs confuse me so much. So I'm kind of waiting on Caster's BGAs to come out. Regardless, that's where we're at right now now let's take this so this is the grass that we gained from all of the fields that we did in the last episode so that includes 35 the little one down here the secret field in du woods and field number four and this is all going to be grass and of course this silo will do some some magic to it as well and i'm totally not cheating off screen whatsoever so we've got this and I decided not to get rid of it. So why don't we take this over to that big old field over there and have a little bit of fun. One thing I'm not sure about when we get into here is how much we're going to have. I know there's a bunch of grass in here. I mean, this took, oh goodness, I don't, I don't know if it took an hour. 
It took a solid like 30 or 45 minutes to mow all of this. Like I did all of the research for Farm Sim News while the worker did this job. So it, it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, we'll kind of open that up, drop it down, turn it on. And we should, as long as we line up properly, we should be able to get three, three runs. Yeah, I think we can do this. Uh, three runs the whole time. Normally I'll just shoot for two. And that, that's, that's fine for me. That, you know, I'll, I'll take the time and get the job done that way. But doing it this way with three was going to save us a whole lot of time. And I think we can reach it. One of the great things about uh, choosing your loading wagon, or for me, choosing your modded loading wagon, you also get to kind of choose and figure out how you're going to do a couple other things as well. For example, uh, your mowers. You don't want them to be too... Uh, too wide or too narrow because then you can't pick everything up so a couple things to think about there plus now we've got like super modified versions of balers that'll have windrows on the front and everything there's so much more to think about now that just do the job and figure it out later unless it's taken me three four farming simulator games to figure out that's the whole thing anyway <laughs> am I dumb? Well, let's let's go and pick some of this up. We've already got a hundred thousand liters, which is just crazy. After just picking up the rows around the outside, we've almost got three hundred thousand liters, which is crazy. Uh, I suspected between one and two million liters on this field, and I'm sticking to it. I think we're going to be getting about three. I don't know, say too much. Two million. Maybe. I don't know if we're going to hit that. Maybe one and a half. One and a half seems a little bit more right. All right, last pickup right here. This is it. We barely got a million liters. So heads up, if you're going to be doing this field and you've got it full to the max, all the things, you're going to get a little over a million liters. That's not disappointing. Shocking. Very shocking. I thought there was a lot more grass than that. Maybe... Maybe I'm just so used to seeing that much straw and be like, great, six million liters of straw. My favorite. Let's back this bad boy in right here. So this grass is going to turn into this exact amount of silage. At least it should. There we go. <laughs> One million liters in. Kaboom, kaboom. We'll go ahead and take a look at it just to check and monitor. You can see we've got a grass in there. Perfect. And then every, oh goodness, uh, five minute 12 minutes every 12 minutes we'll get 100,000 liters so that'll take uh, about what two hours ish yeah about two hours that should be perfectly fine so we don't need this anymore also when does silage sell do you guys know wait hang on grass silage not active now it's active i <laughs> got them let's check real real quick and see silage prices tell me tell me tell me When's our best time to sell some silage? January. Okay, so we've got two months to do well. Unfortunately, that's going to be the only grass harvest that we get from that. So it is what it is. Also, we don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and detach. Kaboom. There you go. I don't want to buy that. It's it's kind of a special thing. I know I used to use it all the time. All the time. That's probably an understatement as well. But I don't know. It's, I like using it. I know some of you guys like seeing me use it, but it's, you know, I don't want to use it all the time. It's just a little bit too easy to be cheating, even though everything else is she You know what? I didn't call myself out. You Leave me alone. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so the last thing that we need to do at least for that field is we need to get fertilizer down. So let's come over here to 82 Studios, buying anything you want and everything you want. It's all good. We got it stationed. Ooh, a little expensive there. Uh, it's about a thousand liters per, or thousand dollars per. So yeah, that's a little bit high. Woo! Love that little shortcut right there, dude. I've been using that all the time with this little tractor. It just jumps right in. And yes, I understand the John, the uh, Fit Seven is not a small tractor by any means, but it's the small tractor on my farm, and I love it. It's actually the first tractor we built. Have you guys watched the uh, episode 1 through 10 Supercut yet, by the way? It's, this is episode 14. You should have seen it by now. If you haven't, go check it out. I normally link stuff like that at the very beginning, so it should be in the cards. Uh, wherever you click to see the cards on mobile or on your uh, desktop, 
uh, you should be able to find it there nice and easy so i'm gonna yeet, right in here <laughs> we're gonna fertilize this grass field up real quick and then I think it's going to be ready to fast forward time another day, which would be very nice. Before we head off into the next day in game, which by the way, tomorrow in game is going to be epic. Uh, well, I got to come over here and watch this because this is going to fill up overnight. <laughs> it's never, ever, ever fun. So time to fast forward time. Unfortunately, because of the way I've got everything set up, we've got 250 sheep. Stupid sheep. Uh, and, and well, their wool fills up super mega fast. So as soon as one pops up, I got to move it. This is not happening as fast as it normally does. Uh, let's see in the morning. Yeah. All right. Well, not as many pallets as I was expecting us to get, but we still got quite a few. We got six plus one. This holds eight. So at least, uh, at least we know that's good. Um, you should probably pick these up, but don't really have enough to get a full trailer, at least as of yet. You are adorable! Uh, yo, when when Giant said that the sheep would be absolutely super, super cute and adorable, they were not kidding. I want to pet the sheep. <laughs> One of the great things about December is we get to sell our oats today, and we're going to also be able to sell something else, our canola, which we have none of yet. But don't worry. <laughs> she ready to harvest, boys. Let's go. Look at that canola ready to harvest. Yield bonus 98%. Yes, I love it. All right, so what I want to do first, I think I want to make a little bit of money. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the harvesting done today or not. We will find that out. Let's find out first where we're going to be taking our oats to. And it looks like it's pretty obvious right here. Thirteen hundred dollars per thousand liters. We have two hundred forty-three thousand liters. December best time. Usually, I think it's like the the month before this. Like November is the best time, but you know what? It's it's fine. Oh, Farm Bay is better. Yep. Let's let's go there. Tag the place. All right. So we're gonna need to get a massive trailer for this because two hundred forty-three thousand liters isn't gonna transport itself. Nor is it going to transport itself in, by itself. And I don't want to make 200 and how many ever trips. That sounds awful. That's 10 trips if you're doing 24,000 liters. So what we're going to do is use this trailer. Now, this is a highly modified shoe to maker uh, Rapid 580. That's a deer. Let's hit it. Got him. Uh, we, we're going to modify this. To go all the way up. So this trailer has been modified to hold 50,000, 100,000, or 1 million liters. That's great news. Because we've got over 100,000 liters to transport. So I'm going to modify this super quickly. There we go. Put that about right there. Come over here. Modify. So we're going to go down to capacity from more to most. That's going to bring us up to a million liters. Which is perfect. And then we want... <laughs> Do I have 575,000 liters of barley? What? How am I just realizing this? Goodness gracious. That's going to give us a whole lot of money, even under $100,000 or under $1,000 per thousand. Oof. I am playing in normal mode, by the way, as well. I I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, we're, we're playing in normal mode. At least we should be. We should probably double check that as well. Um... Is it in here? Yeah, difficulty, normal. I haven't played difficulty normal in years. <laughs> Since like Farm Sim 17, probably. Yeah, it did go me, I guess. All right, how in the world do we get down here and where are we going? All right, so it's right there. It's at the store, so we just need to go like we're going to the store. That'll be perfectly fine. And uh, also something else funny. I don't think I've ever driven to the store on purpose. I always reset everything. Oh, well, this should be a fun trip. All right, how do I get in here? <laughs> uh, okay, this looks pretty self-explanatory from here. I know I've done a map door and everything on this. I just haven't really paid much attention to how to actually get in and out via a tractor. Also, there's a lot of pieces of candy around here as well. All right, go in and out of here. Swing over here. And this is it right here. Okay, 
We are going to get a lot of money for this. And I am really excited about it as well. There goes the money. This is some of the first... Actually, this is our big first bulk. Big... <laughs> money! Yeah, we're already over 200 grand. Going up into the 220s now. 230s. Woo! We got 150,000 liters left. We haven't even done half of it yet. We're already over 100 grand. Oh, it makes me happy. And what's that final take gonna be? Here we go! Boop. $321,000. Yes, sir! What's on sale? <laughs> Anything good? Well, we got a little uh, older Finn. A little Finn favorite. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Forgot to buy a, uh, a belt. We should probably do that. I don't have a trailer hitch on the back of this, though. Uh, I might I might do a, a reset kind of thing. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But, yeah, I... <laughs> That's one thing that I may have forgotten about is buying a belt system. We should we should go check on that. How's it doing? It's probably done. Yeah, it's it's done. We've got our 1100 liters of silage in there ready to go. It wants to be sold, man. We need to go sell it. There's a couple ways that this could work and I'm hoping that it works the way that I want it to. So we need to get silage from that into this. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get very much going on through here at the same time. Uh, double check real quick. Silage, there it is. So, uh, let's see. Cycles per month, 24 as opposed to 120. Uh, though we are doing 21, but under 100. Yeah, this isn't going to go as fast as I want it to. So, we may... This might take a long time to get all of the silage down. We have a million liters going to take a minute so here's what i'm thinking so we've got that a couple other things we need to double check real quick again silage when's the best time to sell it i'm sure it's not now <laughs> we'll go from there uh december january okay so it's not terrible but it will be going down soon but i still think it's going to take about a year to sell it all so here's what we're going to do Let's save this location. We need to go in and we need to get ourselves a belt. Now, this one would be cool, but unfortunately, I don't think that one's going to work for what we need to do. So let's go in here. Belt systems. I think this is the one that we need right here. The Grimmy. Is there any customization to it? No, nope. Just is what it is. Uh, it's going to cost us $38,000. That's totally fine. Got that. Hey, and it even put it here for us. All right, cool. Go ahead and reset that. And jump in here. I need my help window on because I don't know exactly how to control this one. Raise it up. Which way is forward? All right. So that way's forward. Back it around. Ooh, this does sound pretty cool, though. So you guys probably see my idea. I don't know if I could get a tipper over here, but I think doing it this way, at least for me, this is going to be the easiest. S slowest for sure. But if I don't have to think about it, then it's fast. Right? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So about right there. Uh, it's not giving me the trigger to empty this, which is a little bit worrying. Oh, boy. Um, all right. We got that. Boom that over there. Still not giving me the uh, the option. All right. We'll, we'll go unload here. Oh, man. Um, hang on. All right. Well, I'm not saying this doesn't work, but what I am saying is it doesn't work for me. And I don't know why. So that, that stinks. Uh, how am I going to do this now? I have a game plan and the game plan is to do it like this. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work, man. Uh, let's be straight up honest with each other. Is this going to work? I don't I don't know if I could dump to the ground or not. All right, we'll pull under here. We'll do that. I am going to modify this one again. We don't want it to be on most anymore. I want it to be on normal. 50,000 liters. That should be plenty. We'll go through here. Oh, we can actually get hay, chaff, and grass out as well. That's kind of neat. All right, all right, all right. I see you. All right, Oxy, did you let us dump it on the ground in front of it? Or do I have to actually get up in there? I can't even get over the that little hey oxy's the man all right we'll dump this in here i don't know how much it's gonna hold 
I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Hang on, Massey's damage is at 44%? Are you serious? It looks totally fine. I don't know. All right, so it looks like 50,000 liters was not a bad go, at least to start with. So I'll take that. We should start making a little bit extra cash from that, which is great news. And I don't, I don't really know what to do with this trailer right now. I know I'm going to need it later, so maybe I'll just take it back to the main farm. Also, I know we've got a bunch of bells to sell. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> We could have done that today, but we're going to have to do it tomorrow because I don't have time. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so many bells. All right, let's go over here. We'll do our outro with the bells. And with that out of the way, let's get it rocking and rolling, everybody. So we're going to start off with the claws, the nice, beautiful Tryon. Now, I really, really wanted to get another one of these. I like the, uh, I like the combine. I like the header option on it, 10 meters. That seems to be just about perfect for what we do here on the map and it all works great however we've got something on sale and i think it's going to be just a little bit too hard to pass up we'll go in here real quick and it's not the case funny enough i do like the case however uh it's running about 227 grand which is about half our money and i don't want to spend about half our money just on the combine when i still got to buy a harvester however the new Holland's on sale for 105 grand. All I gotta do is buy the header with it, which ain't gonna be that expensive. And we're good. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. We're gonna be getting the new Holland harvester. So that will be our first new Holland piece of equipment, which I'm kind of excited about. We've already got the styre, so it's kind of like a case. Let's go through, double check, make sure that our straw swath is enabled. As I was mentioning in the last video, I've got a mod installed that will allow me to get canola straw. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how it works, but I know that it works. And as you can see, it definitely works. So the canola straw is going out and we're gonna be, of course, bailing all of this up and including it with everything else. I might try to get the straw harvest done today or it may be in episode 16 in the next episode that may be there as well either way we're getting a new harvester today all i gotta do is run a couple headlands around this field and then hire the worker so that it's all getting done it will be in our new combine so let's get to it baby yeah come on harvesters rock and do it his thing we got everything set up so let's get in here and get ourselves a new harvester so it will be the new holland ch770 pv22 that means it's a little bit cheaty uh we are using trellaborg tires on this map but i'm not opposed to kind of going through and taking a look and seeing what else we've got i do like the look of those rice steins on there and of course BKTs are always gorgeous. Ooh, Midas. Hello. Nah, I thought, you know what? I, I think Trellborg's going to be the answer here. We've got a standard wide tire. Anyway, we do need to go with the DJ60 ham. DJ go ham. What up, what up, what up? Okie dokie. Got it on the back. Perfect. Let's buy it. Boom. Now, we also need to get a header for it. So the headers, uh, you guys can use your just uh, standard, actually. Yeah, super flag 20, that's seven and a half, eight and a half. Oh yeah, I'm sitting here going through my head going, wait, there's two? Yeah, there are two, but we only modified one of them. <laughs> the larger of the two. Yes, sir, no customization options for this one. Does kind of stink, but whatever is what it is. And it looks like I may have to babysit this guy coming back. So we'll just keep an eye on that. In the meantime, here it is. Let's jump out of it though. I want to get this reset. This is the easiest thing. Boom, got that reset. Boom, got that reset. Now, it's right here. Perfect. Got our buddy over here working just fine. So those of you astute may say, DJ, this one is a little bit smaller than your other one. No, but yes. Actually, this one's quite a bit smaller, about three meters smaller on the header itself. But that's that's okay. I. You know what? I'll I'll get over it. Three three meters might be a trigger, but it is what it is. Let's bring it in. Let's make sure straw swath is enabled. Ooh, it is disabled by. Uh, there we go. Come on, hurry up. There you go. All right, we'll turn it on. We'll enable a little bit of fast farm action going on. One nice thing about this though is that whenever we come through to pick up the straw, we should be able to pick up two 
runs at the same time because the baler that we use is bigger. I think it runs at about 10 meters. And since we're already running a, a headers that are 10 meters, it barely reaches, so I don't even try. But with this, I will definitely be attempting to pick up two swaths at once, which might even make our overall workflow a little bit quicker, especially since this header or this combine rather is meant to be set on a worker and forgotten about. Run your headlands around the field, hire the worker, do whatever else you need to do. That's why I've purchased this, not to get things done quickly, but so that I can just get something done a little bit faster and for a little bit, you know, a little bit of money. We spent about 150 grand on this entire package altogether, which again, totally cool with. And it's working just fine. Check this out. This thing is rocking. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all wheel drive just in case we had a straw swat that we can't handle. Otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, uh, the headlands finished. We'll hire them on a worker. And then I guess we can go ahead and get started with bailing because that's gonna be the only other thing we really need to do. I'll tell you guys what, pulling this machine out of the barn might be one of my favorite things to do. This is such an epic piece of equipment. Huge, huge baler, absolutely massive. Love it, love it, love it. Only thing is I'm a little bit worried about getting into the head rows down there. So I might try and behave a little bit and <laughs> just go back and forth, back and forth. Let's double check, make sure we're working 20, yeah, 240 centimeter bells. Perfect, perfect. We'll go ahead and enable fast farming, can we? Yeah, and turn it on. Now this is what I was talking about. This baler almost can reach over there, but not quite. So I don't even try. However, with the combine on the other side, I think it might be pretty advantageous to at least attempt to do it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Yeah, left a little pile right there, didn't we? <laughs> Oops. And I'm just going to go back and forth, picking up some straw, making some bales, doing my thing. Now, if you remember, a couple episodes ago, we made a bunch of bales. Matter of fact, let's... Let's go ahead and get up in the air a little bit and take a look at them. So as you can see right here, we've got five runs. I believe that's four piles of 32 and one pile of 31. I don't know how many that is, but it's plenty. That's how many it is. Oof, a little far to the ground there. We're going to take all of these bales in combination with these bales that we're going to get off of every one of these fields. And by every one, I mean all three. Oh, we're going to have a whole lot of bells. Oh, I'm so excited. Not very long after, and one of the fields is already done. Can you guess which one it is? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's the one in front of us. <laughs> Field number three. All right, let's go ahead and do this because I think we're at like 92, 93,000 liters. This holds 100, so it's very, very not... Not too bad. Let's go ahead and turn it on because combine harvesters need to be on whenever you're unloading them. It's it's just a thing. Ooh, hopefully this will hold. I don't have a 50,000 liter limit on this thing, do I? Darn it. I think we can we can fix this. Customize. Yeah, normal. Why is that on 50,000? When did I do that? Oh, I did that in the last episode, didn't I? Sure did. All right, there we go. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's in there. That's doing good. Love that front weight, by the way. You got to check that out from Polycount Taz. So that's one done. We've still got this guy who I think's well over halfway done, maybe three quarters of the way done, something like that. So he's doing fine. We've got one other field to do, <clears throat> and then we're done. Ooh, and so is my voice. Goodness gracious. All right. We're doing okay so far. We've got plenty of bells being made over here. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this first because you try and... It, and you'll probably understand this. When you're trying to go through and figure out, okay, who am I going to set on a worker? What jobs am I going to do? You kind of have to prepare for the worker first because they can get stuff done when you're not working. And even when you're preparing stuff for the worker, you're still working. If that's confusing, it should be because I'm really confused right now we should move on do you guys want to move on let's move on at this point everything's looking pretty good yes sir so let's uh i don't know should we do a a, a, a dubly dump is that what it was called i don't know i think these unloaded the same amount yeah they unloaded the same amount 
<laughs> there we go. All right, so that's in there. We'll take a look and see exactly how much canola we've got. Boom, boom, I think, oh, right here. So we got 144,000 liters in there right now, but we've got plenty more coming through with our combine harvester right here. 76,000 liters in there already. And they're not too far from being done. So that's pretty good. What I need to do is I need to go ahead and get all of this stuff put away. I am going to keep the combine harvester on this farm. I think if I can find some room for it, I think what I might have to do is move the telehandler. By the way, should we sell this? I don't think I've used it much. And we don't do grass bells anymore. We're only doing straw bells. I mean, it's fun to have. So that's cool, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. You you guys tell me. Ooh, can we pull this all the way through? Yes, we can. And we can put the telehandler back in there. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Well, that makes that easy, doesn't it? Hey, now we've got a reason to keep the telehandler around. So we can move it to get the combine out. <laughs> all right. So... Let's see how many bells have we made so far. I can't remember. There we go. 65 bells. Not too bad. So we got a bunch more up there. And we've got a lot more to be able to make right here. Now, can we? Can we pick up both swaths at the same time? I think it'll barely reach. Which is good. Can we do this? Is it going to work? We're going to be able to reach both of them without having to come back through? I think we are, yes. Now I'm going to have to behave and pay a little bit more. All right. Why does this keep missing stuff? Is this just not picking up? I think what's happening is it's piling up so fast in front of the baler that it can't pick it all up at the same time. All right. So that's definitely something that I'm going to have to go through maybe in the code and the files and mess with myself because... I don't want it to leave straw in the middle of the field. I would like to be able to have all of this, please and thank you, even though straw goes a little bit away. So regardless, anyway, I'll quit complaining. I'm going to pick up some of the straw. We'll see how much of it I can get. Ah, we missed a little bit right there. That's okay. We'll pick it up coming back through. This is kind of neat. This should save us a little bit of time, even though I have to go a little bit slower to be able to pick it all up. So hit these head rows and then coming through like this. I don't know if this was the best directional way to do it or not also i've modified this baler to intake 50,000 liters a second and it's still not helping on the ends right here when you get a bunch of this so just uh just be careful go a little bit slower it'll take it all in just fine and you will be just fine as well uh going back and forth a little difficult uh this is about the limit of this thing so just barely being able to hit both of the lines left and right and then you get down to the end right here you gotta slow down a little bit hit all that make sure you're good then swing it wide in order to pick this part up just to come back in and do it again at the end it's it's interesting <laughs> it's not the easy oh, i'm missing a little bit uh it's not the easiest thing to do definitely doable i mean 100 percent doable you just really got to pay attention. I'm not even sure using a controller or a uh, mouse and keyboard is the best way to do this. You may you may want a steering wheel just so you can have super, super fine control over this. I think that's maybe the best way and possibly the only way to do this without any problems. But as you can see, we're doing just fine. We're almost finished with this field. Hey, I like it. And just like that, we are done with this fill. Let's go ahead and fold everything up. We'll take a look and see what is our bell count. Now, about uh, 15, 20-ish hours have passed since the last clip. So let's, oh, I'm going way too fast. Slow down, baby. How many we got? So we got 29 bells. I made 79 bells the last time around. So that's going to be a total of 108 bells total that we've made so far. Not terrible. Also, what are some other specs? I'm just curious. 38 hours on the gameplay series so far. That's not terrible. We've made almost 500 bells, which is crazy. Uh, 58,000 liters of fertilizer. Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious. Uh, and collectibles. One piece of candy out of 100. Oh, yeah. And all the combine harvesters and everything, they're totally done now. I couldn't remember if I did a clip showing <laughs> putting away the harvester or not, but 
Yeah, the harvesters are completely done. We can go in and take a look at what we've got. So we had a total of 224,000 liters of canola. I can't remember. Do we sell that today or later? Ooh, it's today, boys. Where are we selling it? Oh, man, those prices are not great, are they? Not at all. Uh, let's see. 231, 73. That's going to be the one right there. Cotswold store. So 1,200. We'll still make plenty of money on that. I'm just not crazy about the amount of money that it is. I want more money. Let's let's get in here and let's let's get to work. Uh, this is going to be the last run. Unfortunately, I can't do uh, double runs on this, so I'm just going to have to go straight up and down each of these. But that'll be a little bit easier on me. Rock and roll. Let's get this field done and see what our total bell count is before we can go sell some bells and make a bunch of cash, baby. Yeah. All done. Let's take a look at our numbers and see what we've got. So 86 produced bells, at least in this gameplay series, matched with the 79 that I did previously. That's going to give us, I think it's 165 bells. If I did the math correctly, I know I'm not allowed to do math, but I just did something there. I think it's right. 165 bells bales just on three fields well it's gonna be a lot isn't it sure is well now we need to figure out where we're gonna sell it and well figuring out where we're gonna sell it's a pretty easy solution considering where all the rest of them are if we go down over here to straw uh everything that we've got i think is at the uh Coswell's, well prices are all virtually identical anyway these are one dollar differences per thousand liters it's not gonna make a huge difference i mean We've got a lot, so it'll make a bit of a difference, but not enough for us to really care too much. But we do need to start getting all the bells up, and we do need to get ready and sell them. One thing that I'm going to do to hopefully protect ourselves from price craziness is I'm going to take the time down to zero time while I'm selling. I've been playing at 0 0.5 just because we got so much to do today, and it's December, so you don't get a lot of sunlight. All right. Go get our bell trailer and get moving on 165 bells. Oof. Drop off number one. Load number two. Offloading number three. Number four. Five. And lastly, number six. Although this one's not really that impressive. We're going to sell these first just so we can kind of get it over with. And then we're going to come through and load up everything else. Like I said, we've got, I think it was five stacks over there we've got five stacks over here this should be a very very good money making opportunity for us and we're going to try and do as much of it here with each other as we can so the sell point inside i believe is right about here i think i think this is the one bell sell point hey -o. all right let's do it uh we will offload the bells just like so perfect 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 there we go all right Four grand for those, not too bad. Ooh, I almost forgot that we need to take that time down to zero. There we go. The reason for doing that is because I don't want the price to go down. Usually when you sell about 200,000 liters of something, the price goes down. Well, we have a lot. <laughs> All right, let's reset. And we're gonna try and pick these up one load at a time. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. This should make things nice and easy. But again, that's what I'm doing. Back and forth, picking them up one load at a time. Uh, also, we should definitely check on our BGA and stuff. I did have one person that sent me a uh, modified version of the 200KW uh, BGA and uh, gave me some instruction on how to do that. I thought about doing it, but I'm still a little bit back and forth on what I want to do exactly. I know this map can be a little bit funny when you try and move stuff. So I wonder if I could just delete that BGA and put down a new one or if... We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm not sure. Either way, uh, we got a lot that needs to be done. All right. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Bell sells. I love how the bells tried selling this game. Cracks me up. Also, dude over here in the middle of my trailer. Get out of my trailer. Cool. All right. $25,000 per load. That's going to be about 200 grand. Two, 250. Somewhere around there. It's a lot of money. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start selling all these, and we'll pick back up whenever we're hitting our last load. Going in to pick up the very last load now, and we have more than doubled our money. We're at 517 grand right now. Insane. 
boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop got him uh yeah don't go too fast by the way if you're trying to do that don't just fly past it it farms them 19 and 17 they would just magically appear on there uh they take time they do take a few seconds to go old in uh, in 22 so just be careful it's it's not quite the same this is our last cell right here i'm averaging about twenty five thousand four hundred ish dollars per load so let's see what we get here Kajunk, kajunk, kajunk. And the last bit, 25, 569. Couldn't have ended on more of a nice number than that. So now we can at least uh, forward time a little bit more. We'll head it to 0.5. And we have made money. A lot of money. Let's go in here and see if we can find bill cells. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Right in here. Sold the bills, 257 thousand dollars i don't even know how many bills that is but i do know that's a lot of money and i'm real happy about it and with that let's quit flying and let's get right into it what i did we are gonna sell the bga now i'm trying to swap out the bga in the files it doesn't seem to be working we do have some stuff in here for example if we go down and take a look in silage you can see we've got about 800 and some liters of digestate uh we do have 47,000 liters of silage which is quite a bit we may pay ourselves back for that we may not but you can see here the recipe not looking great because i added a bunch of zeros to these in the files and they're not showing it well I have invested my time and efforts into one of these. Now, I've had a couple people send me BGAs. However, I decided to, uh, well, modify and make my own. It's quite literally the same BGA that's already here on the map. So it should fit pretty well. Uh, the only thing is it costs 100 grand. And this one, well, you, you see what we sold it for. Not a whole lot. But the good thing is... We could put this down. So let's make sure we're all kind of nice and squared off. I think about right there will be good. Okay. Looking good there. Looking good from the back. And go. Oof. All right. So now we need to figure out, is this going to be worth it? Hey, look. It's my extra zeros that I added. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So we need to go. We need to find ourselves some... How much silage do we have in here? I'm just curious. One million liters. We're gonna be so rich. While we're at it, let's go ahead and sell some canola because today is canola day, baby. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. a little bit squirrely right there. I did talk about purchasing possibly a new weight for the front of this. We did get a new weight that came out a few days ago, at least at the time of recording this video, that extends out a little bit and helps with stability. Well. I don't know if I want to do that or not, but this seems to be working all right for me, at least right now. So we're going to take the trailer that we've got behind us. We're going to bump that up to the most capacity. So it's going to be 1 million liter capacity. We're going to take our canola and we're trying to find a good place to sell it. And then we will be good. Uh, at least at the time of recording this video, the new patch for Farming Simulator 22 is not out yet. I know a lot of you guys like to go back and rewatch these in order. So you'll know exactly What's going on there? Oh yeah, <laughs> we've got so much stuff. I didn't change it. Crap. Uh, maybe I could change it right now. Possibly customize more, most. Look up. There we go. All right. So this is going in. Now we need to figure out where we're going to be selling this. Let's go to our prices. Let's go down to Canola and we'll find the one with the most amount of money. I think it's Cotswold Stores. Tag the place and figure out where it is. Oh, no way, it's down at the BGA. Yo, that makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? One other thing that I did not mention that we're gonna do today is fix all of our vehicles. Uh, if I select this tractor, for example, you look at the bottom right-hand corner, uh, it's low, it's real low. <laughs> basically broken is what it is i don't want to make it all the way broken so i'm trying to only fix the vehicles once a year but i think we might have to fix them more than once a year because they are really really needing some attention some love care and attention and boy oh boy is it not getting it right now 
So all in all today, we've got canola cell. We already did the BGA. We need to fix the equipment. Uh, we're also going to be moving slurry over here to the BGA as well and trying to get that sold because we have well, enough. But right now is the best time, the best time to sell it. So we're going to take full advantage of that and get as much money as we possibly can. So we'll pull around through here. We will get this canola sold. Should give us a pretty good amount of money. Select it. There we go. All right, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I do know that money is going up fast. Nearing the roundabout way on the end right now, and what did we get? $284,000, not too bad at all. I am playing in normal mode. Beforehand, I played in easy a lot, and it turns out easy mode is a little bit too easy a farming simulator once you start making money. Also, yes, I'm not using production chains to sell this stuff. Usually I would make canola oil or I'd be making flour, well, I do a lot of flower simulator, so yeah, changing it up just a little bit. Maybe we'll get there one day, but I think uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that sale. Now, this next one, this is going to be fairly easy as well. I'm just going to go under here. We're going to unload all of the silage, and we're going to dump it in. I think it's got a 10 million liter capacity for silage. Ah, great. Crash counter plus one. Good job. <laughs> I need to make that a little bit quieter, but it'll be all right. All right, silage. Uh, this actually won't hold all the silage that I'm going to be dumping out. Well, that's fun. We'll have a little bit extra left over. Nice. You know, it's funny. You really don't think too much about how much 1 million liters is until you can actually put it all in one trailer at the same time, which I love to be able to do. Please tell me I could dump this on the edge. Okay, thank goodness. Boom. Dump it. Get it good. I want to get that down. About 50,000 under. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I am going to... Oh, we're stuck on that piece on the side. I'm going to back up and go ahead and fill the rest of this up. We got another like 50,000 liters in here. Something like that. There we go. Oh, that's not quite uh, as much as I was hoping we would be getting out of that. Um, well, let's see. How much do we have left? 24,000? Okay, that's not too bad i guess we can go ahead and back that up do it again this is this is the fun part right here all right we'll dump that there we go okay that's everything now we can officially dump all that we've got available right into here we'll go ahead and pop in we'll take a look we will activate our silage right here um this will do uh cycles per month yeah 14 on 4 it is 60 cycles an hour which i believe is one a minute yeah one a minute indeed Actually, it's already doing cycles. I can't do it fast enough, even at half time. <laughs> oh, cycles per hour. Or is that cycles per minute? I think I put too many zeros on it. BRB. While we're waiting for Mr. Silage to make his cash. Money. Let's go through here. Let's pick up some silage. The liquid. Liquid kind. Yeah. Slurry. Ooh, back it up. There you go. Let's pick up some slurry real quick. I haven't done this yet, and I don't really know how, but I'm sure we'll figure it out right about now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, Open cover. Maybe that's what we need to do. Start filling. Hey, cool. Oh, look at the fill plane going down. Look at that. All right, that's kind of cool. That's neat. It's going down super fast, but aw. Oh, it only holds 100,000 liters. I'm going to have to make two and a half trips. That's going to suck. Uh, we've also got a bunch of manure as well over here. We'll kind of take a look. Sneak peek at the bottom right-hand corner, 50,000 liters. Now, the manure doesn't need to be sold, I think, until later on. This is the great thing about this. You could just look and see when anything is. Uh, so we'll go through. Do, 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 do. Give me manure. Show me some price fluctuation. January. That's tomorrow. I don't need to do that today. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not saying I added a couple zeros to the end of this, but I may have added one. <laughs> one zero. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be all right. We'll come through here and we need to get this. We got to move because this is all done. Oh, it was already on. Oh, that was weird. Uh, yeah, this is all done. We've got to get this pulled away. And we're all finished up here. Might be able to move the manure with this. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to move that, though. So I could figure that out. Go ahead and open up our covers. And we should be able to just 
crash right into that. Nice and easy. Um, not getting a dump. Maybe here? This is probably it. Yeah, I should probably use the BGA more. <laughs> I think we started like a massive uh, bit in the uh, the American map, and that did not work very well, huh? All right, we'll poke back in here, take a look, and slurry. We want to activate that as well. So silage is down to 781. I don't think there's enough in there for it to actually do another cycle, so that's uh, kind of funny. You can see at the bottom right hand corner, numbers are still trying to go up, trying to go down. Digestate number is moving very, very good. Nice, 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 nice. One thing we are gonna do, I'm gonna make the investment and we're going to figure out how to do some type of slurry injection. That way we don't have to fertilize more than once. And we talked about this a little bit uh, beforehand. And I don't actually remember where, is it in crop protection maybe? I'm not, that's not it. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea where in the world this is, but I know it's right here, so that's okay. I thought about getting this. So we'd have a nice big tractor, we could you know, do whatever we wanted to with it, and we'd have a good time rocking and rolling with it. But I've also been kind of creeping on here waiting for a slurry trailer to pop up. We do have one right here, but I want to find something where we can inject. That way it's literally the full amount all the time. Ooh, very cool. Although we did just get a new modded version of that. Anyway, let's, uh, we'll go ahead and back out. We'll get this taken care of. We'll get this moved around. Do we need to do? And then I think it might be time to fix some equipment. And that's going to be a lot of money. Taking a look through our uh, menu now, and we can kind of see what needs a little bit of help and what doesn't. For example... The, the mag C forks and stuff, they don't need anything, but uh, going through here, we could see we do have some stuff. What is it, Viking Fenix? Oh, yeah, to make uh, hay, we could probably sell that at this point. How much can we get for that? 12 grand? Not too bad. We may need to do that. Uh, seed tender? Oh, yeah, feeding chickens. We, we may want to feed them soon. Uh, the biggest thing right here is going to be the Massey. 19% right there. We really, really need to do that. So... I don't know any other better way than using the mobile workshop. So I'm just gonna come up and we're going to repair each one as such. Now this is gonna take a bit. Uh, let's see, what's the total cost? Say we had 732, so there's 2,500 bucks. $20,000 to repair that? Why? $44 to repair a weight? <laughs> It must be worth their weight in gold. Goodness gracious. 2500 bucks to repair that tractor? Goodness. So you can see this is getting quite expensive quite quickly. I was not prepared for this amount of... Uh, oy. Oh yeah, I was not prepared for this at all. Ooh, that does not need to be repaired, so that's kind of nice. We'll spin around here. Just show you. Man, we really... I'm not saying we're getting robbed on these prices, but they are high. I have installed the mod where you can kind of adjust the prices a little bit, because they, they are pretty up, up there. Granted, we're going to make plenty of this money back, but still. Uh, I will say I, I can't get it to work. That mod, it's supposed to be in game settings, and it's supposed to be at the bottom, but I don't, I don't have it. Maybe it's in general settings, but... I still don't have it. Or additional settings, but uh, I don't have it. It's installed. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe one of you guys know, but I sure don't. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to finish repairing everything, and we'll catch you when we're all done. Maybe it'll be time to use this bad boy. Let's go back now and revisit a problem that I've had since the very first harvest. We got these little spots in our fields, and no matter what I've done, I can plant whatever I want over them. Uh, things aren't really working the way I want them to. Got a little spots all over the field that nothing's growing through, even though it looks like nah, nah, nah. Nothing grew through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plow, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a yump right over it. Just like that. That's it. Just a little spot. Nothing too crazy. Did a little bitty spot like that. 
And I think I've got a few of these around, so I might have to do a little bit of driving to find all of the spots. Oh, 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 I got another one. E. I did come through and get all the straw off the field, so that's really easy to do if you're curious on how to do that. Go into your build mode, go into landscaping, go to soften, and then you can literally just do whatever you want around the area. It won't mess with it field-wise, but it will mess with it like anything like straw or grass grown grass on the field so just be careful about that otherwise if you got a crop it could be grass it could be wheat barley whatever it doesn't really matter uh you're good to go oh got a little another little spot right there kachunk didn't even have to do anything to that gotcha um let's see i don't think i've got any spots in this other field and i'm actually going to use this in <laughs> the flight mode to come over here and take a look I don't see anything, probably, because this field was cultivated at the time of jumping in. So that's a little bit easy. But what I can do is maybe utilize up in the air. Oh, we got another one. You can't hide from me, little piece in the field. I can see you. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. I don't know if that's all the spots in this field or not, but... We could certainly drive up here. I think I've actually got a couple little spots. So if you've got these in your field, they're so easy to get rid of. Just get a plow, a cultivator, subsoiler, disc harrow, uh, anything like that that will change the field style. Anything except a direct drill because a direct drill makes it worse. <laughs> Just like that. Now, the good thing is as well, because I am going to direct drill over top of all this. I'm still going to be able to see really well when I'm coming through and rolling. There we go. Got that, got that. Looking good. I'll do one little run up here just to make sure. I think we're good there. We are all good. Should we look over here just in case? One of the neat things about uh, looking around for these little spots, they're literally going to be in the exact same spot for you guys as well. Oop, okay, got a little spot right there. A couple little spots. Are, oh, it's all poking. Oh, there's big spots over here. They're all over the place around the edge down there. So. I'm just going to go through, we'll get those plowed up, and I think none around the center, which is really weird, but it is what it is. Let's get these up. Now is kind of the boring part, because we've got fertilizing to do. Yes, I know we've got a lot of uh, digestate up there, but uh, right now I don't have a mod for any of that yet, so we are back to using regular solid fertilizer, just like so. We're gonna go through, we will get all three of these fields fertilized, ready to go. Just kind of double check. Ooh, look at all these little spots that I had to do. Not too bad, but you know, I mean, they're, they're definitely there. No fertilizer on the field, so we will have to get that put down. Field number five. Field number five's looking good. It is all plowed up. Do we have anything that we can fast forward to over there to maybe take a look at it? Yeah, maybe not. I wanted to get field five, because we've got field 25 here. Field five is massive. Uh, let's see, what's the price on it? Ooh, I don't have enough money for it. Yeah, maybe next time. Let's get all these uh, fertilized real quick. Fertilizing's all done. We got all of the fields looking good. Well, at least the first stage of fertilizers on all of them. Next is going to be the planting. Now, I'm not sure what I want to put in here. I'm thinking just wheat. Though I might do wheat and barley. I'm, you know, I'm a little bit back and forth between the two. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure which one I want to do. We'll go ahead and hook up and we'll go over here and fill it up with seed. So we did canola and that was our uh, third harvest, I guess, whatever it would be. We're doing two a year, so it's a little bit easier that way. There we go, full seeds. So I'm thinking because our wheat and barley and oats will all be gone by this time tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe we, we could do sorghum as well, but the problem with sorghum is it doesn't give us any extra like straw and straw makes money. And I like making extra money, even though we have to wait all year to sell them. So uh, this harvest should happen, I think at about April, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we'll do a grass harvest in March. That'll be spring number one, which would be very, very nice to have. Go ahead and turn everything on. Crank it up and rock and roll. So we've got three fields. All three of the fields are going to be wheat by the time I am all said and done with them. Oh boy, what am I thinking? While we wait on the worker to complete their task and their 
gonna take a little while. Let's jump into our style right here and get some feed mix made. The next day in game on January is going to be feeding day for the animals, and we need to make sure we've got everything that we need. How many times do I say need? You guys know what I mean. So this will hold, if I remember correctly, 1 million liters. Well, I have formulated 400,000 liters of silage, 400,000 liters of hay, and then we're just going to tip, tip, top it off with some straw. So bring it in. We should be able to find ourselves, yep, 400,000 liters of silage. This should empty out completely. And it has done just that. Next is going to be straw, not straw. Easy now. Not quite straw, not just yet. Hey, yes, we need to empty out the hay. Not bad, not bad. Here we go. This should be ending here in just a moment. And it has. And lastly, let's top it off with some straw. Straw is basically filler. Uh, also, uh, for the mineral feed, I have seen a couple people doing tests, and it does nothing. So if you don't want to use mineral feed, you don't have to. Uh, and probably you shouldn't. You're just going to be wasting money on it. So coming through. Good, good. And there we go. There is our 1 million liters of TMR. It's a little bit much, but it's enough. Uh, also, there's another thing that I want to tell you guys about. So the manure, right? So the manure, and come through here, we're going to put that right there. The manure trigger is right here, and it tells us exactly what's in here. It says 50,310 liters. Okay, 50,310. 50,310. Well, that's not what this says when I go take a look at it. It says 218,000 liters. And so does this silo right here. Now, I don't know what's happening or what's been happening, but what I think has happened was, I think that this silo right here that's holding 50,000 liters of actual manure uh, has also been depositing into the multi-fruit that I cheated in over here. Thus, putting all of the manure in before I bought the manure <laughs> pit into our silo. How convenient. Well, uh, if that's the case, I'm going to be getting rid of the manure pit because there is no reason to have that if this does the job for us. So this is just one more reason why I love this piece. And I think you should guys do it too. Man, I've started to cheat way more than I used to. Gotta love it. So let's get this potty humor party started. Oh yeah, so we've got a bunch going on. First and foremost, I wanna let you guys know that today's Let's Play is gonna be done in times zero. I know that's really nothing special or different, at least for my channel. However, we're doing it for one purpose because the sun's going down and I know we've been on this same day in game for like four episodes now, something like that. We got a lot to do, man. You guys know how it is. You probably spend quite a few days on the same day in game in real life playing. So it's very similar on my end as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire a couple workers and get things moving. So we've got rolling to do. I've already rolled one field, but the one to our left still needs to be fertilized. That's field number two. We're on field number three currently. This needs to be rolled and fertilized. And field number six needs all of that. All, all of it. We haven't even planted it yet. So all that's going to have to happen today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish running around this. I'll jump back in with you when we're going to start planting. We'll get that worker hired. And then we'll get some fertilizing done. And then uh, we got to do all of that on every field. <laughs> It'll be a fun day. Yeah. After about, uh, well, it feels like forever, uh, we're done with the rolling part. At least the part where I have to do it. Go ahead and hire the worker on that. Uh, if you are using these fields and you're using this specific roller, heads up, you're going to need to run three head lens around. It's just not going to do it. You're going to have to run a third run around there anyway because they're going to miss a lot. So you may as well just do all three yourself. <laughs> Next, we're going to take the second slowest thing that's going to take us all day. This is going to be our cedar. We'll go ahead and turn everything on. We'll enable a little bit of fasty farming action going on. And rock and roll. This one only takes two headlands, which is very, very nice. You can kind of cheat around on the second one if you want to. 
get that fast farming action going on. By the way, if you don't know anything about fast farming in Farming Simulator 22, you need this weight, put it on the very back, and use that hydraulic hitch to hook up whatever you're going to be using. So, for example, this uses that exact hitch, so you would be good to go. Don't lower the weight down, just lower the implement down, and it will go fast. I'm using the real speed limit mod, which is for, uh, on PC only. So heads up there. Everybody asks me how I go fast. It's a real speed limit mod. That's pretty much all of this equipment is unmodified in any way, or the equipment is modified to go maybe a little bit faster, or hold a little bit more. But yeah, that's how I'm going the full speed of the tractor, the real speed limit mod. Console players, use that weight, and you're good to go. And we're good to go. <laughs> Let's go and finish this headland around. And then we got to fertilize. Oh yeah. And those spots that we plowed in the field the last episode, check this out. Going right over them. Boom. Perfect. No issues whatsoever. I forgot to show you guys that in the last episode on the other field. But all of the parts that we plowed up, well, they are working just fine. And because they have an overlap of a massive area that we're already doing that looks like it is plowed over, direct drill anyway, um, and mulched, that type of thing. Well, it's going to give you the same features and the same looks there. So all is good, man. All is good. We'll finish this field up. We'll see you guys over on field number two, the smaller fin. Oh, yeah. By the way, I want a bigger tractor. <laughs> I know I keep saying that every single episode, but I think we're to the point where we might need a bigger tractor. I think we're running into the problem now of, like, for example, that roller on the uh, on the tractor we got it on right now. It's not doing great. It's a little bit slow. You know, it, I mean, it's going about 60 miles an hour, but 270 horsepower may not be enough for that. I think we're going to need to get around 400 horsepower. Perfect. That'll be absolutely perfect. So we need something maybe about this size, possibly a little bit bigger. Start thinking on that, but that's going to be my goal during the winter months is to try to find something on sale that is massive. All right. All right, the worker. Ooh, we're going to miss this. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Great. Fertilizer time in one of my favorite tractors of the series. I love this fence. Something about the white. The, the fence in general just kind of leads itself to being anything except for green. And I've tried to modify things to look a little bit different than they do. I mean, we took a case and we're using it as a styre. We've got the white fin. We have a blacked out Massey Ferguson. I like the, the setups and the designs and the the way that we've kind of changed some of the equipment on here. Really like it, I really do. I'm trying to figure out do I need lights or not. December at 1357, it's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Of course, having HDR turned on does not make it any better. It makes it a whole lot worse. HDR is awesome unless it's dark content or you're watching movies. Ugh, anyway. Back to it. <laughs> we got a lot of fertilizer to do. All three of these fields are going to be done. But as soon as we're done with these, then we're done done. We can fast forward to the next day and move on. So I had recorded about a, uh, I don't know, one, two minute clip of me rolling the last field. Ooh, about rolled over is what I did. Uh, it turns out what I had done is not hit end from the clip before it. And when I hit the recording button, it stopped. The recording and then when i stopped the recording i recorded 12 minutes of myself rolling a field it was exhilarating <laughs> just like this whoosh clean so here's here, <laughs> it was bad uh here's what we got we're gonna put this away we've got one field that i think is done you fertilize yep and we're almost done almost done so close Everything's good. We got one more bit of fertilizer on this field, and we are done with today in game. Of course, once it's all said and done, we've got to go babysit the sheep because for some reason they can't handle things on their own at night. So we're going to have to uh, just make sure, you know, the, the wool doesn't get backed up too bad. Um, I, I understand. I know why. I did it. I've had a couple people say it in the comment section. I see y'all. DJ, the wolves, uh, you know, piling up so fast because you've got too many sheep. You cheated in too many. I'm aware. I did it on purpose. <laughs> and I don't know how to make the spawn point for the wool bigger. Therefore, it, it is what it is. It's it's fine. We're, we're fine. Everything's fine. You guys good? All right. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to finish fertilizing this field, right? As soon as we're done fertilizing the field, 
I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next day in game. In that time, I'm going to go babysit the sheep off screen, we'll wake up, and we'll be time to feed the animals because January 1 is feeding time. And welcome to January, whereby I've been frantically trying to get wool out of the spawn point. <laughs> we got a lot of wool, man. It's There's a bit of it here. We're doing pretty good, though. I mean, we've got a lot of it. We're going to sell in May, which is good. We've been selling this, or saving it, rather, this entire time. I haven't sold any wool yet. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. And we've got a whole stack of it over there. Actually, we've got more than a stack. We've got... A huge pile is what we got. Yay! We got a huge pile of it. Let's see. Let's jump into our tractor. Please let me. Really? Oh, yeah. I forgot if you uh, get at, in a tractor, out of a tractor, something, and then you try and pick something up, and then you try and get back in. It doesn't work. I don't know why. Triggers are the same way, and I have no idea why they behave like that. Oh, well. What I do know is why wool behaves like it does going into the trailer like that. Because it's awesome. We've got a bunch of it over here as well. I'm going to go ahead and load it all in together. That way it's stacked up nice and neat for us. We'll have probably, I don't know, three pallets? Four, four trailers worth to take with us? I think this is about two days in game, maybe three days total. So it's not too bad. We'll load these up, get them all nice and organized, and then we will drop them back. So that's almost a trailer load. Oh boy, it's not taking them from where I wanted it to. That's awesome. Just take the closest ones, you idiot. Why would you do that? Ay, it's fine. Things are fine. Life is fine. Everything's okay. Nothing's wrong, ever. Ay. Watch it not take half of the ones from the other side now. Yep, told you. Well, there's two right here. It's like, oh wait. Oh, those? No, I can't reach those. Get out of here. Arr, come on down. Get in there. All right, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Bish. That's what all, all I wanted to do in the first place. We've got a couple right here. Nice, neat, organized, looking good, looking fresh, looking pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Sometimes, uh, let's Let's just put these right there. There you go. Okay, so. A lot of pallets. <laughs> a whole lot of pallets. That's going to be a lot of wool and a lot of money. But, like I said, it's going to be, I think, May until we can sell that. So, well, no point to get all excited about it now. Speaking of now, now we need to go feed the animals. Because they're going to get real mad if I don't. First up are the cows. And smart me actually did myself a little bit of a flavor the last episode if you saw i've already got the animal feed mixed in the trailer and it's already in the oh yikes it's already in here all i gotta do is feed them but this is gonna take a little while <laughs> i mean it empties fairly quick but i don't think that i've got it empty that fast so we'll go in here pop in take a look at the animals real quick we're over here at the cattle oh they're almost full look at that oh well, uh, it turns out this does empty extremely fast. Uh, they took 300-ish thousand liters. Wow. All right. Well, that's pretty good, and that'll last for a little while. And the rest of this we're going to put into the silo. Now, I don't know how much TMR I've got in the silo, because unfortunately it doesn't tell you how much you've got. But if we can go up to it on the right right there, you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, if you even go near a silo, It'll tell you exactly how much you've got in uh, ascending order. As a matter of fact, or descending order, rather. So that's cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, I was about to say, uh, I crashed my game. Nope, we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go and save that game. Wow, I could not walk. I don't know what in the world just happened right there. That scared me uh, too much. Yes, it did. Too much indeed. All right. So... The feed mixer can now be put away. We probably won't use this for another year or so uh, in game. I could probably even lease this and be done with it, but I don't know. I like owning it, plus we've got plenty of money, so we're okay. Uh, one other thing that I did find interesting is at midnight, we did not get any money from the BGA. Are you supposed to get money for the BGA? I don't... I, I don't... 
I've never used it. I don't know how it works, but I do know that I didn't get any money. And we sold a lot of silage, so maybe once a year you get paid? I really wish I knew the answer. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're good. Uh, we'll take a look at straw. Straw's very interesting because I made the silo over here hold a lot of straw. And for some reason, they're both connected. I don't, I don't know how I did that. I... I have no idea how I did that. Oh, I know what's going on. Uh, my controller, for some reason, is disconnecting from the computer. Which is super cool. That's awesome. So much fun. Exciting. Uh, let's, let's get some grass. <laughs> I don't know how much grass we're going to need. We'll take a look at the sheepies real quick. We've got two different sets of sheep in here right now. Let's see, 250, 250. Hang on, do we have 500 sheep? No. Hold on. There's no way that they made that many babies in one day. No. Really? 250 sheep made 250 sheep? <laughs> All right. Um, it looks like 300,000 liters may be too much. This might be too much grass. Doesn't look like 500 sheep in here, but maybe, maybe they did. Uh, that's a lot of sheep, man. Like too much? Seems like too much. All right, so that's filling up pretty quickly. 200,000 liters, nice, nice, nice. I might have to come in here and fill that back up to a certain point. I didn't think I could hold 500, maybe I can. We'll take a look and see. Oh yeah, I forgot the triggers in the middle of the road. We have 500, yep. Yep, we do. Uh, brand new. They are, they are babies. All right. Well, I guess wool is going to be our most profitable crop now. Welcome. <laughs> All right. One more animal to feed up. We've got, uh, we got our chickens and of course water for the, the sheep as well, but that'll be easy to do. Water is going in and chickens get fed. We'll go ahead and boom this out all the way and we'll just kind of reach over here reach over here. I love this little feeding mechanism right here. You just gotta get close-ish enough. Drops in. I can't tell if that's moving super fast or it just looks like a bunch of ants doing their thing. Either way, uh, that's it there. Cool, cool, cool. And the chickens are fed for probably like four years. Huh. They, don't, they don't need a whole lot of feed. We'll put this away, back it in. Now it is time to get some other stuff sold. So we've got bread, milk, and manure. All things that need to be sold. So I think the first thing maybe we could do is since we're right here beside the bread, uh, at least what bread we've got left from the previous game save, we could go ahead and sell this. So boop, 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 boop. Got them. Now we need to figure out where we're gonna sell the bread. As always, go to your prices and then find whatever it is that you're wanting to sell. Right there, we can see January, perfect time. Now we just need to find what gives us the best one. It looks like General Bay One. Tag the place, figure out where in the world General Bay number one is. Uh, oh, it's all the way at the top, cool. So even though bread does very well, the problem is we don't have a lot of it. 6,000 liters and that is it. Also, I think this might be our first time going to this sell point. So that's kind of cool. We need to figure out exactly which one we're going to here. I think it's the one smack dab in the middle, and it is. So we're going to actually be able to go up into this. Oh, bread's not accepted there. Perfect. That makes that a lot easier. I don't have to skip by that every time. And going through here, should sell immediately, and it is. We're not going to make a lot of money off this. Maybe even 20 grand, something like that. Yeah, $19,000. So not a bunch. Not a bunch at all. Although I did see a piece of candy over there. Look at over here to see if there's any more. <laughs> uh, ooh. Hello. Piece of candy. Gimme. Got him. Thousand bucks. Any more over here? Any more? Bueller. There's a horse. Got him. There's another thousand bucks, and I think I saw one. Yeah, tractor. Got him. I'm not actively trying to find them, but I will say if I see them. I'm gonna pick them up. Ooh. I can't. 
<laughs> gotcha. Boom, baby. Is there any more over here? Ooh, there is one right over there. Uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm having too much fun doing this right now. Let's go and open that back up. Get to the outside. Oh, it's lagging so hard. Give me a piece of candy. Got him. All right, next, we just need to figure out where to get the milk from. That way we can sell it all. And I have no idea. I have no idea where it is. I think it's this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that it's this one. We'll pull up to it. We'll open up. See, I'm so smart. Look how smart I am. I, I'm so good. <laughs> Starting to help window. Just to double check, make sure everybody's good. Everybody is good. I want to pop in, take a look at the animals. We'll see our reproduction 50%. Well, we've got all the chickens we need. We don't need no more than that. Uh, milk should be done. Yep, 183. Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of milk. We're going to make a lot of money is what we're going to do. Let's find out exactly where we want to sell this. Should be pretty simple. Price fluctuations. January, we are good to go. And then, which one's giving us the most? I think it's this one right here. Tag the place. Coswold. I think that's down at the BGA, if I'm not mistaken. Ayo, see you at the BGA. One of the interesting things is this milk has only been collected since August. So we've had, I think it's about what, five months, something like that, worth of milk. So this is only representative of half a year, maybe less than half a year's worth. So this is going to go up pretty quickly, especially with the way it's playing and everything. I'm kind of glad we're doing this game, say, in normal mode versus, like, easy. That'd be, that'd be too much money. I think, just like normal, right? <laughs> All right. After this one, we've got one more thing that we need to do, and that's going to be manure. Now, I know where some of the manure is, but some of the manure has been eluding me, and I'm not quite sure exactly where it's located or if we even need to continue keeping the manure bunker that we've got. I need to figure all that out. What I don't need to figure out is how much money we made. Holy cow. We made a quarter of a million dollars. 254 grand. Ooh, that's nice. We're at $964,000. We're doing good. The last task today is going to be manure. Now, I know where some of the manure is because randomly it started appearing in this silo before I started placing down the normal area so we'll get this filled up uh -huh. well that's a lot um hang on <laughs> maybe we should customize this to most yeah there we go all right so we've got it customized to most this should put all the manure in that i know that we have however i think there's some more around here in the bunker we pop over that, we should see some more. Yeah, there's more here. So it started going from the silo into this, which is gonna take a while to get out. Um, I think I got an idea. Bucket modded. Good job, DJ. All right. I love the way I do things. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make things a little bit easier. I went ahead and sold the bucket that I had and I quickly made this one. And this will be a okay. This holds a hundred thousand liters. Let's go. And here we go. I should be able to get all of this plus like twice this much in one go. Let's see if we can line it up just about right. There we go. And can I have some newer, please? The answer is yes. Oh, yeah. I might try to get rid of this just because. It, it, not a fan of doing all this myself. I would love for it to just magically appear into the silo. So I think what I'm going to do just to maybe do a little bit of trying is delete that and maybe put something in its place or something like that. And then we'll go from there. I like using the tail handler. I like doing stuff like this, but sometimes you just don't have time for it which is most of the time. So we'll uh, we'll maybe try and do that. Actually, we can go ahead and do it right now. Go in here, click it, sell it. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. We'll do that for now. We'll see if the manure goes into the silo like it did before, or if that was some type of fluke, or maybe I did something wrong and it magically appeared. 
I guess we'll find out soon enough, huh? And this is the last thing that we need to do before March, getting well into year number three, or season three, if you want to call it that, here on Comsden Farm. So, manure, get it sold, get it put in here, and be done with it. I still haven't made any money from the BGA, so I have just no clue whatsoever on how I'm supposed to handle that. Let's come over here real quick. We'll get this. Let's see. Silage is good. Slurry is good. We'll go ahead and activate the manure as well. Take a look at these. Silage, digestate, good. We got a, I mean, we got plenty of digestate. Everything's looking good there. I just don't understand. Maybe this costs money? I don't... I don't know. I thought maybe we would make money. It It is what it is, I guess, huh? So, there is, uh, there's that. <laughs> Nothing to do in February, so the next episode that you guys see here on the map is going to be in March. In March, we're going to be getting our first mowing done, so that's going to be nice. There you go. All down, and it should digest it pretty quickly. Uh, well, at least it would if I had a thousand liters to process. We have 36,000 liters to digest eight. That ain't too bad. March is going to be fun. And with that, let's go steal. I'm, I'm, let's go help our fellow farmers with their harvesting and everything. And we're totally, totally not going to steal anything from them at all. What we do need to do is get some header trailers, though, for our headers. Because I don't have any of them. Do these take the same one? 60-30. Ooh, 6035. Ooh, AO. All right, so let's go ahead and get these purchased. Let's go and get the one for the Colossus right now. Nice and easy. Spare wheel. Sure, license plate. Well, that's not quite right. We need the DJ 60 ham. Back only. Sounds good to me. Now, we are repurchasing these. You may be remembering back in the day, we actually had these. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I got rid of them. <laughs> I don't have these anymore, so we're going to have to buy a header trailer, at least for both of these. I'd like to go ahead and run both combine harvesters on the field. I think we'll get it done way, way faster, but I'm also not quite sure if it's a good idea. It might take a little while to, to get both of them down there and then back. Is it going to snap in, or did I put it... Hey, love it! Uh, I think maybe to start with, we'll start with one harvester. Because really, I'm just going to run a couple headlands around it and then call it a day. Yeah. I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to get down there. Oh, yeah. What fields are we doing, DJ? Well, we're going to be harvesting 13. 13's big. Like, here's the size of, what, 25, right? Well, this is probably 50% larger at least. And 25 took a while, which is why I was saying... We might want to take both combine harvesters just to be safe. So let's get ourselves down there. Let's find our way into the field. I still have no idea what we're going to do. Oh yeah, and we're doing 21, 17, and 9 for the fertilizing contracts. They shouldn't take too long because we have a 50 meter spread and we can go super fast. So I don't suspect those are going to take a while. Also, today in-game, we need to sell some honey. We've also got uh, grass that needs to be done. So we're, we're, we're going to have a fun time. Uh, this episode uh, 18 may be split up in 18 and 19 for all of the work that we've got to do. Just traveling along as I do. We're almost to the field, but check this out. Got a little, little river crossing down here. I've seen this before, but I've never tried to bring any equipment down through here. Ooh, <laughs> that was dragging just a little bit. We should be right up here. Oh. Well, that's a big field, huh? This. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, I think getting our other combine over here is not going to be too difficult. We may still want to get a header trailer just to be safe. Go ahead and unfold. We'll go ahead and open up our combine harvester here. Nice and easy. We'll also double check to make sure that our straw swath is enabled. Yes, I understand that this is canola. However... I've got a mod installed from the mod hub on PC, which allows me to get straw off of canola, which is pretty cool. Yeah, let's put this about right here. I'm not sure which way I want to go to start with. Maybe, maybe we'll go around to the left since I'm so familiar with looking that way. Double check, make sure we're good. Let's disable straw swath. That means it is on. We'll go ahead and open her up and go. All right. Harvesting contract has begun. Now, 
when doing straw swaths and taking them away on uh, contracts and things like that, especially a PC, you have to be very careful you do things in a specific order. The very first thing would be to harvest. It doesn't matter where you put the crop, and most people don't use common harvesters that hold a million liters or 100,000 liters, which this one holds 100,000. So you may want to put this in your own silo, something like that. Then you want to collect the straw off the field. Once the straw has been collected off the field, then you could go and deliver your, uh, deliver your crop wherever it needs to be sold, and then you will complete your contract. If you've completed your contract, you can't get your straw off the field, and that gets annoying pretty quickly. So make sure you do things in the correct order. My, uh, my order of operations, at least today, is going to be to run two headlands around this field completely and then find a straight side to hire a worker on. And because it is so massive, I do think two combine harvesters is going to have to be the way we go. All right. So I'm not saying that I'm recording this clip three days later than the previous one, but it might be a few days later. And at this point, update patch 1.3 is out yes it is one thing i need to do is we got to go through and figure out exactly how i'm gonna get this worker hired i think i'm gonna hire him like this because i get the majority of the field done without having to do anything that being said i think going this way might be beneficial to get more of it i'm not man i don't know I don't know at all. I, I think probably the best thing for me to hire this worker and not have to come back is side to side. Because I'm going to have to do a little bit of work the other way around. I've also looked at the new Massey Ferguson and Fent Combine Harvesters that we've gotten. I like them a lot. A whole lot. So we may swap out that uh, new Holland for those eventually. I don't have any modded versions yet. So we'll go from there. We'll go ahead and double check here. Make sure that we've got a straw swath coming out. Yes, we do. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, finagling right here, but that's all right. No problem whatsoever. One nice thing about this update is we can now see the actual price fluctuations. So we've got to sell honey, and that's going to be the next thing that we do. So I've come in here, looked at honey, and say, okay, these are the prices. What's the price fluctuations? This is March, so the high should be around... $2,019. Well, we're getting 2039 That makes me feel a whole lot more comfortable about what I'm about to do. And I'm about to sell some honey. Let's go. As soon as I, as soon as I hire this worker and get him going. It's honey picking up time. Let's do it, man. Uh, one thing that I've found after this most recent update is, boy, oh boy, is it a little bit laggy. I've had to load in and close out this map about three times to get it to not be so laggy. And that's for every map that I've played on for Farming Simulator 22. Not just this one. Why is some of that on the bottom? You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, and that includes first person. Check this out. Look how bad that is. That's not good. That's, <laughs> that's not fun to play with. Uh, yeah, so it... In order to get everything to load correctly, and I've told people this it was soon as Farming Simulator 22 released, the cache is kind of being reset a little bit. So if you want everything to be looking right, nice, smooth, etc., etc., you're going to have to play in those modes because it seems like there's either two different caches or something going on with memory where it's basically a whole new world as soon as you go into first person. Now, every vehicle is the same, so that's nice, but... Eh, you just got to be careful. Hey, where are we selling this honey? I got 5,600 liters. Where I need to know where we're going. So let's figure that out. Over here, honey. Take the highest price that we've got out of all these. General store bay number one. Let's tag that place and find out exactly where we are going. I have no idea. Oh, so we're going up here yet again. All right. I'm not too hugely familiar with honey prices, the selling ways or anything like that. Because I haven't done it a lot. Most of the honey that I've done, I've had delivered directly to the cereal mill over on the American map. So I'm not uh, very versed in in this part of things. So let's find out. 11 grand for all that honey? Alright, can't just be me, right? That seems like a waste of time. <laughs> I'm not sure honeybees are the way to go anymore. That's, that's $11,000 
for honeybees that we've had for, what, seven months? Eight months? I think we need to start making cereal. That's what I think we need to start doing. Now, I don't know if I had mentioned this at the previous uh, bits or not, because it's been literally half of a week, but I'd originally planned to mow this episode. Now, we had a lot of mowing to do, and we're going to have to do that the next episode, so we may have an entire day full of mowing and picking up grass and making hay, but I enjoy doing that. However, today, because we've got contracts and things and, and that sort of dealio, well, we got a few other things that need to happen. The first one is carting. Yeah, I, I'm not used to doing that. Oh, let's go and hook up to this. Uh, let's see, I believe this is the most. Yep, most it is. Let's jump in here. Uh, we got to take this all the way out. If I looked correctly, the combine harvester, what well, holds 100,000 liters, but it's like at 75%. 76%? So we gotta get this out there. I need to go ahead and do a little bit of carting. This will hold 10 full loads from that combine. So, I mean, it's gonna hold plenty, but we still gotta get out there. Don't tell the farmer that I'm in his field. Oh no, <laughs> I missed it. No, go, 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 go. Yeah, we got a little bit. I need to go ahead and pull away that way. <laughs> that way the, uh, yeah, there you go. I, what do we got, 11,000 liters in there? Just barely, man, just barely. Uh, they're doing good. I think this may have been a mistake doing it this way, but as you can see, th they're not missing any. I think this is definitely the way to do this. So if you guys are doing this field, man, the least trouble and the least amount of work that you would have to put into it, man, I think doing it back and forth like this, this is the best way to do it. Also, uh, I love this combine harvester and I love this trailer. Uh, the trailer, the combine harvester, I've got a, like a version of the, um, ideal in my pack. And then as far as this trailer goes, unfortunately, uh, this is a trailer that someone else made that I added some zeros to. So unfortunately it is unavailable for download on my pack, but you can still get a combine harvester similar to that one. Uh, actually, 82 Studio made that combine harvester for me. So let's give a big shout out to 82 Studio. He's a man. Ooh. The TLX 2020 is out as well. Oh, I think we might have to get a truck on this map. Something else we got to do is we have got to get the fertilizing done. We have three fertilizing contracts that are active right now that we haven't even started yet. Speaking of 82 Studio, let's go ahead and use his multi-filling station. Don't, don't pull past it now. Let's use his multi-filling station and let's find out exactly where we are going. So we've got 21 up here that's probably going to be the first field that we hit 17 likely the second and field number nine and that's going to be the last one so this one we actually get to go behind the secret field in du woods Ooh, that's gonna be fun oh don't drive in my crop don't drive in the crop nice i always love coming up on new parts of the map that i haven't been to yet now i've flown over this a hundred times for map tours and things like that but i've never actually been up here for this, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little boosty boost all the way to the top of the map and put it down. Nice. Uh, now this, uh, this contract in particular is going to be a little bit difficult for me. What's fertilize the contract? So that's normal, right? Well, <laughs> I can't see where it's putting it down. So I think what I'm going to have to do is rely on the map and just pause over and over and over again you you think i could do this i hope i could do this <laughs> i hired a worker got him uh i did miss this part and some spots over there but don't worry uh two passes maybe three and this whole section will be done one pass i can get that and then i'll be finished and it'll be just fine yes sir so with this one it looks like maybe your best bet if you guys are on field 21 doing anything Probably just hire a worker trying to go back and forth through here. Maybe hit one at the top, one down the side, and then one down here, and then just hire a worker going straight back. So definitely start whatever you're doing at this bottom left-hand corner. Go up to the right and down. I think that's going to be the best way to get your worker going. Go and reset that. Yeah, look at this. Perfect. I'm perfect. Contract done? Uh, I mean, there's some more left, but I'll take it. <laughs> Where's the contracts? Build number 21 is done. It's right here. Yeah, here, there we go. So you completed 21. Okie dokie. Collect. This is 12 grand. Not bad at all. What's next? 
Field number 17, I believe, is going to be next, and that is all the way down here. Ooh, that's going to be a long drive. Can I drive down through here? Could. I think it may take longer, though. I'm going to drive across the fields. I don't want to be that guy and say that uh, cheating and driving across all the fields was the best idea. However, it, uh, it took like 25, 30 seconds to get over here. So if you're driving from field number 21 to field number 17, drive through everyone's fields. <laughs> this one's nice. I could actually see where I'm going with this. So I'm just going to harvest or harvest. I'm just going to do this one myself. Uh, it's not going to take me that long. Plus, it's not squared off. So hiring a worker would be uh, not impossible. Just not a good idea. Check this out. At the top right hand corner, field 17, 39% completed. I've never seen that before. I knew that Giant said that they'd added something like that. There is also a PC mod that does this as well that just happened to come out the day after I started recording this video. I was like, hey, that would be perfect. And then Giants, of course, added something as well. I was like, well, that'd be perfect. So, yeah, you can kind of keep an eye on your contracts just by checking out the uh, little white text at the top right hand corner of your screen. So keep an eye out for any text that may pop up saying, hey, you've done this much. Hey, you've done this much. Because another one popped up for the other field as I was doing this one, which I thought was very interesting. So I had to jump over. I was like, ooh, 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 turn OBS back on. I need to tell the people. I wonder if it'll pop up again. I don't know. Let's 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 give it a try and see. I'm still gonna just continue to go around in circles. Up oh, there we go. Field number 13, 42 percent. That's the other field. That's down even this one. So it did. Oh, but hey, there we go. Field 17, 54 percent completed. All we have to do is get to that 80 percent complete mark. Well, 80 percent of the field, I think, and then it's done. How cool is that? I think that's awesome, man. So definitely, definitely, definitely keep an eye out on the top. Uh, it may give you updates here and out. Um, the thing that's really odd is it's not like 15%, 25%, 50%. As you saw, I was like, yeah, that one's 17% uh, done, 42% uh, 40, done. Uh, yeah, that one's, oh, that one, 38% done. The numbers seem to be a little off. Contract completed. So that's in green, and it looks like all the other status markers are going to be in white. So no big deal through there. We've still got all this left, which is what it is. But hey, it's completed. 35 grand. Ayo. And we are officially, for the first time, realistically, with money that we've made, kind of, millionaires. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love it. We're millionaires, baby. We got all the money. Every bit of money. It's our money. Let's go. I got to get to field number nine. And this is, I don't think I could drive straight across the map. Perhaps driving halfway across the map was beneficial after all, because here we are at this field. Uh, double check on this guy real quick. 64%. He's doing okay. After I finish this next contract, though, we definitely need to hit that. Oh yeah, these can change colors now. So, I'm thinking, customize, oh yeah. Let's do this real quick. Uh, see, chassis color. So we do have New Holland Raw Smash, that's nice, but this is cloth. So let's do that. Extension color, what's the extension? Uh-huh, the top part. Let's go with a bright white for that. And then rim color, I mean, duh, right? Vent. No, it's Kloss. The problem is, hey, there we go. There actually is a real Kloss color. Nice. Uh, wonder if we could change this to like a dark. Yeah, I like that so much better. And why is the license plate not DJ60 ham? There we go. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, love it. Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Much better. Much, 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 much better. All right. One more field. It's down here right across the, right across the river. Field number nine. Finally, we're getting close, guys. We're getting very, very close. Get a little wash up on the wheels there. Oh, boy. This is another one of those fields where I'm not really sure how in the world I'm going to do this. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. Straight from the top. Go for that atop view. Looks like this is corn, so it's not going to be too difficult to see through. Unless you're looking at it like that. We look at it from above. You can see perfectly fine. So, if you're doing corn... Look from above. Hey, helpful tips and tricks from DJ. If you're going fast. Hey, 
10% complete. Let's go. And there we go. Field nine contract completed. Also, our combine harvester up there is already at 80% already. This is going to be the second unload for that one, which is just insane. Let's go ahead and find him. Where's he at? 85%. Goodness gracious. So we'll take a look at the field real quick. So we've got, we've got a solid two thirds of this done. And you can see this right here is where we were when we emptied. He's done a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. And as I mentioned before, if you want him to do the whole field without having to worry about it, you got to set it side to side, top to bottom, anything like that, not going to work. Now, I will also acknowledge the fact that a lot of people will say, DJ, use course play. It'll do it all. I'm aware consoles don't have course play. I'm trying to do things that everyone can do. So no course play over here. I'm not a fan of the mod anyway. It doesn't fit with my play style. I don't think it's a bad mod. I think it's an incredible mod. I'm uh, probably one of the top 10 most popular mods of farming simulator history. It's just not for me. That's all. No worries. It's all good. All right. We'll get this unloaded. I think obviously you oh, go, 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 go. I think obviously this is going to take a lot more time than just one episode to get this contract done because we've still got to come through, pick up the straw and uh, make some bales, go deliver those bales over beside the BGA and maybe take over an area beside it. Uh, looks like we're good here. So I'm going to go and bring you guys over here real quick. There's a field up here right beside the BGA. And I'm thinking about, yeah, field number 30 right here. Ooh, uh, you know what? Never, never, never mind. My, my idea was dumb. It was so dumb. I don't even have enough money to afford it. So let's just get move forward. huh? So this job wouldn't be so bad if we only had, well, you know, these few bells around us. But unfortunately, there's, well, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> there's too many. I made too many bells. We got way too many. So we're going to be using the brand new JCB, uh, JCB 450. I should really go in and change those names up a little bit. What I've done is I've taken the JCB mod that I used early on in the Farming Simulator 22 lifespan, and I have modified it slightly to use the engine setups uh, from that one, and then crossed it with the designs of the one that we just got from Schnibble Mining, which by the way, you should definitely go download and check out because he did a fantastic job. And through that, I've now got 450 horsepower in here, and it'll go nice and quick at about 54 miles an hour, which is perfect. So we've got uh, the best of all the worlds. I have a high horsepower tractor, a fast tractor, and it will do just about whatever I want it to do. The only thing is, in Farming Simulator 22, tractor weights are everything, and this thing doesn't weigh a thing. So it's not going to be able to do all the jobs that we want it to do, but it'll do most of the jobs that we want it to do. And that will round out our four tractor setup. I limit myself to four tractors. If you may know that, you may not. In Farming Simulator 19 from gameplay there, what little bit I did, and I do apologize for the very, very few amount of Let's Plays on that game. We're back, and we're better than ever. We've got some good stuff planned for you guys on this series as well. Now, eventually this series will come to an end, but I don't know when that's going to be, and you probably don't either. So if there's another map that comes out, maybe something exciting you guys want to see me or my take on that map, please, please, look, ooh, get it, get it, get it. Ah, if you guys have any other maps that you want to see me play on or you want to see me tackle, definitely let me know what those are in the comment section below, and we will get to them. One thing. All maps have to be off the platform. So even if I modify the heck out of the silos and the cows and the sheep and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, still has to be for all platforms. So stack number one, where are we going to be putting these and how are we going to do them? Well, before I put them to the left right here, and I just don't think that's a great idea, especially for bells that are going to be sitting here. Well, it's March currently, and these bells are going to sit here until December. So best thing to do is going to be to place them. But I think I'm going to place them to the right this time instead of the left. I think putting them over here might make a little bit more sense. That, uh... <clears throat> that didn't happen. You guys didn't see anything, right? Right. I can do this. We could, we could do this without causing trouble. Yeah, all right. So that's a one stack. <laughs> 
I don't want to do this. How many more do we have? After all said and done, quite a few minutes later, been watching a lot of AR-12 gaming on YouTube. Don't tell him. I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, no, no, no. We're pulling it. Stop. Stop doing what I'm doing. I need to unload the bells before I start picking up anymore. This is a good spot right here. And boop, boop. Now, a lot of these are leaning over to the left. I tried to come in here and smooth this out as best I could, but unfortunately, I can't jump over them and I can't do anything about it. So, yeah, I tried to smooth this out as best I could. However, it does come right up to this little wall, and I want to make that look as normal and as right as possible. So, that is our storage for straw bells, at least for right now. That's, what, five and a half fish? Not too bad. Get out of here, birds. Let's move on. And the last thing that we need to do, at least for the contract, is deliver the goods. And I don't know which one I need to be going to. All right. Yep, yep, yep. So which one is that? <laughs> it's going to be this one. I'm going to go ahead and tag it just so I know exactly which one it is. Now, we are using our modified trailer, so this thing's going to dump out a little bit faster than I want it to. So what I'm going to have to do is go very, very slowly. Uh, and we're going to do this about 50% uh, of the time, halving it every time. So we've got a, what is that, 250,000 liters of canola in there right now. So what we need to do is sell about 125,000 liters of it. So we'll get that down to about 125. Doesn't dump crazy fast, but it's fast enough. Close enough. There we go. So we've got 51% transported for that mission. However, what is our mission status? I can find the missions. Here we go. We're 91% completed. All right. So from here, we'll go at about 20,000 liter increments. We'll stop it about right there. So 58% transported. Not bad. 62. I think we need to get to, I think it's 75% transported, something like that. So because this dumps so quickly and we will be getting things that dump even faster than this, uh, especially for all platforms, We've got to be kind of careful. Oh, there's 74. 75%. 79%. Are we not done yet? <laughs> All right, well, it looks like that uh, giants have changed things up a little bit on us. 83%. Really? Is it going to take all of this? There's no way. 91% completed, so we're almost there. Oh, come on. Is it? Oh, there we go. All right. So we at least got to save a little bit and we sold a little bit as well. Let's go and complete those contracts. We got a lot of money for the contract. Looking good. They're looking good. So now we're up to 873. Way too much money than we actually need, but we're doing all right. Since we've got more tractors now, I think it's time that we get more mowers as well. I do really, really like these Pottinger mowers. And of course, I think I've had them delivered to this field down here. Sure enough, check that out. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and reset that point right there, and we'll go ahead and reset these as well. We had to spend a little extra cash on it, but that's okay. It should be right in front of us, and they are perfect. So this tractor right here is what I'm going to set on the worker, I believe. Uh, it should do just fine. Unfortunately, I don't know how to change up the driving style of this. But I'm sure the worker will figure it out even at like 54 miles an hour. So this is going to go to the big field and just get the work done. That's all it needs to do. I've gotten really good at driving the other tractor. So that's the one I'm going to drive. This one, we'll just let the dude do it himself. Because this tractor is a bit of a speedy boy, what I'm going to do is limit... Lower the stupid thing. Uh, I'm going to limit the mower to 31 miles an hour. I foresee some problems down the road and I don't want any problems. Let's double check. Let's make sure our toggle working mode is set to, oh, well, it doesn't tell me what it is, does it? Here we go. Widespread, nope, we want swath dropping. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. We'll go ahead and turn on the front mower. We'll be good to go. So now is going to come the uh, tedious process of running headlands around this field shouldn't take too long it will be very 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 simple but it's still gonna take a hot minute so we'll go ahead and run i think i'm gonna do three headlands around this at least this time around so we'll see you when we're done with three yeah jk on second thought i want to use that jcb it's 
awesome and this thing's gonna work perfectly fine without me so we'll go ahead and set our cruise control just to the right speed we'll double check and make sure yep fast farming is enabled i've run our three headlands around this and we will hire the worker i understand that the uh, rear mowers are in versus in the out position or extended position as most people would run them i prefer to run them in this i get a nice tighter swath and that's what i prefer ah great Hey, all right. Well, this is done at least. So that guy's doing his thing. Now we get to jump in here and do our thing. We've got about, I think it's four grass fields, maybe five grass fields over here. We've got three right here and then one. So we've got four. I should never be allowed to do math ever. One thing I noticed about using this is because it's zero turn or zero two, it's got all wheel steering. I'm able to take those corners at a much higher rate than I would normally. So Instead of having to come through with a windrow later on, I well, I don't have to do that. This will just take the turn for me without having to worry too much. I love this. You can actually see into the field in here. We can find nice little sneaky spots into the secret field in the woods. Love that, man. Love that. We'll go ahead and drop everything down and get ready to do this. But I want to show you the benefits of using this mower if it will do what I want it to the first time. <laughs> we'll see. Usually when I take a turn like this, I have to come back through and windrow it together in order to pick it up. However, we take the turn kind of like that. The swath stays together. However, we do still miss a little bitty bit here and there. So th there is a trade-off. You do miss some. However, the swath stays with it. So. You know, hey, if that's what you're looking for, rock with it. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Again, we'll spin this. And again, the swath stays with itself. So I don't have to come through and do any windrowing with that. Straight on. I love that. That's awesome. All right. So more fields to do. Shouldn't take too long, but gonna take long enough so let's get to work i'm almost done with this field now and i want to tell you guys this jcb or really any zero turn tractor all-wheel steering tractor in game man if you're doing mowing like i am you have got to switch over this has been so easy so simple look at this boom back on it again the other tractor I had to do a little little three-point turn at the very end this one oh, shut up i'm not kidding Fall up. I don't care. Uh, it's been so simple to be able to just zoop, 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 zoom right back and forth. I probably cut off one or two minutes at least from this field from the time I did it before. Absolutely incredible. All right. So that's that. Now is going to come the rest of these. And for these, I'm just going to mow. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to get the job done and move on. Speaking of moving on, I wonder how our uh, our other little buddy is moving along. Quickly! Wow! Zoom, zoom, zoom! <laughs> He's got a lot of this field done. So, that's great! Let's get back to work. See when this field's done. All right, so now everything is completed. All of the fields have been mown and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The thing is, picking it up with either this loading wagon right here or... The other loading wagon that we've got is going to take a while. It's, man, it's going to take a while. So what I've done is I've picked something up. And a lot of you guys would say, DJ, just buy it. No one cares. Just get it. So I did. And I got it in dark green and like, I don't know, it's kind of military colors-ish. Uh, I thought it looked cool. So this figured, let's go with it. This is a 10 million liter capacity version. We can lower that down if we really need to. But I wanted to get something big. I wanted to get something awesome. And I wanted to get something that would give my largest tractor a little bit of a... Well, not a problem. But it's going to take a hot minute. Also, this is not our largest tractor anymore, technically. It weighs the most, but that's about it. It's got the least uh, second most horsepower now to the JCB, which has got a lot. But I'm still going to use this anyway. The JCB, I'm still unable to, like, turn it without all wheels st steering. So, whatever. I don't care. We'll just go with this instead. So, we've got a lot of grass. I did not think about this being green and the grass being green. Good job, DJ. 
<laughs> this is going to be fun to figure out where everything is. Nonetheless, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this up and we'll have a good time doing it. Uh, one thing about all of this, I'm going to pick up this stuff and this grass from uh, the three fields over here nearest our farm. These are going to be used for the silo. We're going to put them in the silo and they'll be used to turn into hay or turn into silage, which by the way, if you guys would like to get your hands on um, similar mods and maybe not the same ones, but similar ones that I'm using, uh, you can do that. They're available right now on the Mod Hub. I just came out recently. So check out my most recent mod video. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Got a mod that turns grass into hay and grass into chat or uh, silage. It's really cool. So definitely check that out. You want the mod. I've gone a step beyond what the mod does. <laughs> Maybe don't do things the way I do. I'm cheating a little bit, but that is what it is. Nonetheless, all right. Let's pick all this grass up. And then this grass will be sent over to the main silo. And then we'll have another one to pick up, which is going to be all going to the BGA. Dunzo, my man. Here's the first setup right here. 686,000 liters. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Let's get it dumped out. Should take about <laughs> 0.5 seconds as it was figured out. I think it's at 1 million liters per second or something like that as the unload speed. It's pretty crazy. Now, we've still got, if you can see across the screen, that whole field left to do. So we have a lot more to go still. But remember, that's all just for making money. All we do is literally just mow that up, pick up the grass, make some silage. Go home, do it again, maybe. Uh, you know, I should probably go ahead and check all these animals real quick. They should be good. I think we could do all right. But wait, you know what? We'll just double check and see. How about that? Okay, so after a few days, we did feed them on January 1st. Uh, they are looking good so far. So it looks like we're going to get about six-ish months, maybe seven months worth of food total, depending on how much they eat in the summertime. Milk's good, straw is good, slurry's good, everybody is good. So I think we're okay doing it this way for now. We'll try and see how long it takes or anything like that. Also, we are kind of coming up on the end of, uh, well, it's the video series season two, but it's kind of, what's well, it's episode 19, isn't it? We've got one more episode and then we're done with the second season in game, if you want to call it that. And we're in our third year, so we need to start thinking how long and how far into this series are we going to go? Are we going to push it? Are we going to do a 40 or 50 episode series? Or maybe are we just going to go with like 25 and say like, you know what, from here, really, it's just smooth sailing. So let's just, let's just call it. Are we going to do that? Or are we going to do it any other way? Let me know which way you would rather do. I think for me personally, going about 25 episodes or so, and then maybe doing something else, trying something new, jump in a different map, something like that. I think that might be the best thing to do. That way people aren't getting bored doing the same thing over and over every time. Because eventually, this farm is going to be self-sufficient. All we have to do is work the land every day. So I want to make sure I'm making the right decisions for you guys. So let me know what you think those decisions are. Is there something I'm doing you would change? Feel free to let me know. Hey, this is a community effort. It's not just DJ over here. Almost done here. We've got a little bit more and then we'll be completely finished. Again, we're over 1 million liters off of this field, which is great. This is going to bring us quite a bit of money. Um, the unfortunate part is I looked back and I didn't see any money that was accepted from the last time around on here so i'm not really sure how to make money off of the bga and i'm really really embarrassed to say that out loud the good thing is prices coming around they're not great right now so it's not like i'm gonna sell this anyway but still you know it would be nice it would be nice go in here and take a look real quick i'm probably gonna run into something whatever it's fine so in here you can see da 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 da, -da all the good stuff um pricing wise and things like that if we go in here and we find ourselves some silage. That's manure. Do we have silage? Oh yeah, silage is up here, isn't it? Sure is, there we go. All right, so from in here, uh, you can see this is definitely the one right there. Having a hard time seeing what the exact number is there, but our price fluctuations are 
pretty pretty far around, especially when you're talking so many different lead ridges. So in January, that seems to be the best. We're still looking around, was that 200, 324 dollars? So 324, it's still not bad. I'm just not sure it's quite how much I want to make, especially with how much we could make. We probably won't do anything with that, at least this time around. But what I am going to do is go ahead and dump it in here and we'll get it moving. We'll go ahead and get the silage uh, getting turned in from the grass. Well, that's not going to take very long. Yeah. So there you go. We'll just sit. We'll wait on that to turn into silage. And then that's probably going to be for another day. So today's going to be big. It's going to be interesting, and I have no idea how I'm going to get all this wool transported. As a matter of fact, I actually do know how I'm going to get all of this transported. We're going to get another trailer. I think I can get away with only one or two more. We definitely got a whole full load right there, but I think these three stacks right here, we might maybe just be able to get away with running two more trailers. So let's get those real quick. What I want to do is figure out, A, which one we've got. B, is there anything on sale? There's a John Deere 4, 7, oh my goodness. I do love that one. I do love that one a whole lot. Doesn't look like there's anything that's going to benefit us too much in here. So we'll move on. What are we using right now? Oh goodness, I got to find it. Here we go, bell trailer. So we've got the Ponge for doing bells. And then we've got our auto load right here, the Egriliner PWO. So let's go in and let's see if we can find that. Got it. Now we just got to figure out what color we're going to make it. I think I'm just going to stick with a standard design. Just the same thing that we've been used to. I think one thing I might do is just go with like an all black look. That way it separates itself from the ones that we've already got. This will be perfect. We'll lease a couple of these. Boom, 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 boom. Done. All right. Now let's jump in this. I do love this tractor so much. I think I've got it set to auto loading normal stuff. Yep. All right. Let's do a little click, click, click. We'll go as fast as we can. That way it'll line up perfectly. Got it. All right. That's trailer number one. <laughs> oh, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be heavy is what this is going to be. How am I going to get out of it? Oh boy. So it has come to my attention that that I don't know if I can get out of here with all these trailers in tandem. We'll figure it out. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll be able to get out of here, but I'm, you know what? I don't think we can. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see if we can go and get all of this loaded up. Doop, 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 doop. And hopefully everything that's left will fit onto one trailer. I'm hoping. Also, we're definitely going to have to swap tractors. There's no way. There's no way that I could pull all of these. I mean, this will barely do one. I think it's just going to laugh at two. And three is going to be like, you won't wait, hold on. You want me to do what with, with what? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck, aren't I? All right, let me Austin Powers this thing out of here. One more. I didn't count. Probably should have counted. Do you guys count? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There's your first question of the day called action. Do you count your wool pallets? And does it even matter? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's get these loaded up. I do want to do this because it's super satisfying. Normally I just click off, but like... Man, that's so satisfying to just watch them go boop on there like that. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have been asking questions about uh, auto-loading for consoles and things like that. And uh, it, there is a thing that is do... Oh, boy. That's... That's not completely right. Oh, we got it all. And we've got one spot left. Oh, I'm so good at what I do. Uh, console players have been asking... Oh, there's another one. Seriously? And it's got a spot open at everything. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't tell anybody. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'll talk about consoles here in just a second. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> the console version of this does work, and it works very similar to this. However, it works like a trailer. You know how you tip into a trailer? Uh, like this, for example. You tip into this trailer, and then like this heap of uh, wheat pops in. Well, basically, that's how the console versions of these are going to work. But they will be here. And they're going to come with other mods as well, which is kind of cool. I'm very, very, very excited. Did I, did I nail that perfectly? That's literally the exact number that I need. I'm so good at what I do. Yes. All right, there's only one way that this is going to work. 
I know it. You know it. Oh. <laughs> all right, so maybe there's not even one way that this will work. I don't think it'll work at all. Uh, I can't get this, the wheel to, to go because it's so heavy that I can't, I can't make it work. Okay, maybe I can. I don't. Man. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I uh, Give me just a second. I, I think I got this, but this is going to take a hot minute. And there it is. The entire setup. We've got it all. How much do we have here? 94,000 liters of hool. Oh, boy. Um, well, I can pretty much tell you we're not getting out that way to our right. I think going this way might be the only way out. And yeah, the the little fit is pulling, man. It's got 200, I think 270 horsepower or something like that. So it's not, it's not a baby. But when you've got this much of something on the back, especially something as heavy as wool. Yeah, it's, it was just heavy. It's extremely heavy. But we're going to have a great sale because this is selling pretty good right now. It's selling, I think it's like $2,100 per thousand liters. Not Terrible. We're going to the garden center up at the top left hand corner of the map. Fortunately for us, we're already about I don't know, halfway there, a third of the way there. There's our column, our beacon, the green beacon in the sky. <sighs> this is going to take a while. I can't do it. It's not going to work. <laughs> also, uh, that gate down there is invisible. So that's fun. Uh, this is like hump day hill climb back in the day whenever I used to do hill climb videos with tractors. See, how much weight they could pull this i mean it's doing it but i'm in the middle of a field which is not exactly ideal for traction i did set it to uh, all-wheel drive so everything's going she's going full blast was it 2000 rpm 1700 rpm something like that and i'm getting a little bit of slap but i'm still going one mile an hour we're doing okay. All I got to do is get over this hill and we're perfectly fine because it's all downhill from there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Turns out the poor little Fent could not do it. It got stuck in the field. Now, I don't think this is going to do it either. This has twice the amount of power, but because it's geared so quickly, I don't think it's got the pull. Even though it's doing just fine actually twice the speed it's going 200 percent faster 100 percent. i don't i don't know man shut up uh <laughs> this is working this is working just fine it doesn't have the weight on the ground i mean this is i think it's about four four tons total lighter but it's working it's working just fine it's gonna get the job done ladies and gentlemen yes sir i oh, love it and we should be able to go a little bit quicker as well so there it is, about 95,000 liters of wool, moving at 25 miles an hour. That's scary. That's terrifying. <laughs> let's get it over here and let's get it sold. I love this JCB. If you guys haven't downloaded the new JCB yet, definitely check it out. I've already modified it because I love it. Oh no, <laughs> crap. Uh, oh, I'm on a bridge, that's not good oh boy oh no oh no okay we're okay so it looks like i'm gonna have to go in from this side uh this is just this was a bad idea i've had a lot of bad ideas we can all agree this is this one was was pretty rough <laughs> hey at least it's getting done right all right let's pull it in here i figure instead of trying to edit through and go through all this Hey, I'll bring you guys along for the ride because this is slightly cringe and difficult. Uh, what's the what's the largest load that you've tried to pull through here? 10 trailers? 15 trailers? 38 trailers? Let me know. <laughs> All right. Uh, time for the selling. This going to take a little bit of time. Oh, and please tell me that's not going to open inward. Sure is. Thanks. Pull it through, get it done, get these sold. Money's going up like it's going out of style. 
Oh, it's selling fast too. Dang. All right. I have no idea how much money we made. So we're going to have to go into here and, and see uh, what it is. $208,000. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and re uh, return these. That way we don't have to deal with them later. And I can get back home safely. All right. We're done with, well, all of that. By the way, we sold a bunch of stuff. Since we got that new loading wagon, I was able to sell our merger, our tatter. We also sold the other forge wagon and the little piece that goes in the front of it now we get to start working on harvest time which i'm really really excited about let's jump at the new holland i did try to modify the new fent ideal the uh the mp series or whatever it is i tried to modify those but they're a little bit interesting because they're literally the same models that we've got in game they're just Diff changed engine, I guess. I'm, I'm not quite sure. The The base files are referring to the base game Fent Ideal and Massey Ferguson Ideal, which, by the way, the Massey Ferguson Ideal also uh, forwards to the Fent Ideal. So really, out of those four mods, well, there's only one. I say four mods, there's four base game pieces of equipment. Uh, yeah, they're all literally exactly the same as far as game code goes. So that's fun. That's very interesting. So I, I was gonna use... The uh, Fent or Massey Ferguson ideal, the new one, in place of this tra or this combine, but why? <laughs> it's the same thing we've got, it's just got a different name on it. So I decided not to worry too much about it. Eventually, we will replace this new Holland Combine Harvester. I love this thing, really do, but working with is a little bit small. Uh, eventually, we're probably going to upgrade both Combine Harvesters that we've got. And we'll just go with some, some big, big ones. Something that we can throw... Uh, one of those draper heads on it has its own trailer on it and be done with it that's the game plan at least <sighs> maybe one day i say that we got nine hundred sixty thousand dollars, and i don't plan on spending a penny of it yeah maybe one day we'll go ahead and uh do that over hey possibly at the end of this year in game i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and complete one more uh or complete this year in game and i think from there We'll probably call it, at least on this map. I will be going on vacation, like, in real life here in about two weeks. So probably what I'm going to do is I'll have a video releasing every day from this series on that. And once that is over, we'll probably call it on this map. And we'll move on to whatever's next. So, speaking of moving, whatever's next. Let's finish this field up. We'll run our two or three headlands, whatever we need to get done. And then we'll get on the cloths start working on the big field you know what no i decided we're gonna do it now we're gonna get rid of this thing <laughs> so we'll go ahead and dump that into there we don't need that anymore as a matter of fact i don't even know why i'm driving this back i, I, don't, I don't know i got no excuse here we're gonna get another class combine i don't I, okay maybe we won't get a class i'm not sure but let's Let's buy it first, and then we'll sell this. How about that? Let's go in. Just double check and making sure nothing through here, nothing through there. Uh, so we've got this right here. This is the larger Klaus Combio Flex header. No, that's totally fine. But I think I've got some kind of crazy modified version of something in here. Yeah, the one by Stevie. So these are, let's see, one's a little faster than the other one. That one goes six miles an hour. We'll just stick with this one. So we'll go with Klaus here. That's going to be our brand on the side. Main color, of course, that's going to be a Kloss green as well. There we go. Design color, I think this is on the side. We'll go with white. Yeah. And then I don't know exactly which color is Kloss, but uh, I think this will be just fine. Now, of course, the Kloss in real life is going to have red. Um, what do we call it? Tumblers, whatever it is in the front. Um, the rotors, they're going to be red. But I think this is going to be fine, at least for what we're up to. So let's go and buy that. Oh, I don't know where that put that. Oh, I do know where it put that. Yep, it put it right there. Oh no, let's go and reset that. <laughs> let's do that. All right, so next is the harvester. Now, there is a, uh, I believe it's a modified version of a modified version, something around in here. Uh, give me a second. Is this it? No, I don't think that's it. Turns out the version I was going to use is an update to the version that I've been using. Oh, right. <laughs> Where are we, man? Where are we? Did I save the game? I sure did. All right, so here's our header right here. 
not too crazy looking good next we need to get in here and find our harvester now i'm gonna have to go into mods dlcs because i don't know where it is i think this is it right here the 8900 modded yeah so this thing is epic it is absolutely awesome uh and it turns out one of my uh upgrades didn't work hang on which one didn't work that one, the 8900, for some reason, the 8900 uh, is still 18,000 and not 100,000. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I do like that kind of weird top on it, but I think I'm going to go with this. The Lexian 7600. It's got 500 horsepower. Totally fine for us. We are using trailer board tires, so nothing too crazy for us. Now, we do have a tracked option, but... I wonder, let's see, okay, so we're not showing any, uh, we're not showing anything wild and crazy. So why don't, I, I kind of want a wheeled version, but we're gonna, it's, it's big. You know what, we'll just go with a broad, yeah, there you go, broad number two, bring those tracks out, make it nice and large. Um, I think the distributor, the header's like 13 point something, so we'll do 13 meter spread, ladder on it, we'll do foldable ladder, looking good. Ooh, the price is getting high, oh no, uh, double flash beacon, I don't know what that means, but sure, I think that goes choom 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 choom, uh, field scanner, don't know what that is, but we'll, we'll not have that, and then the pipe, this is probably gonna need to be a long foldable. I think 7X, that may be a little bit too big, but I think that's going to have to be it for now. $400,000 for our brand new Combine Harvester, which ain't looking terrible, baby. It ain't looking bad at all. There was a modded version, something like this, that I saw Farming Simulator 19. Very, very beautiful, beautiful Combine Harvester. I'm kind of excited about this. Uh... Ow. Well, they look awesome beside each other. Uh, big, big problem. Why is it over here? Why is it, why is it not on the other side? This should definitely be on the other side. Why does this look smaller? <laughs> you know, whatever, I don't even care anymore. Let's, let's go ahead and hook up here and get this thing rocking and rolling. Again, I am pumped about this combine harvester. We're gonna use this on the larger fields, definitely. There's no way we're gonna be using this on the smaller fields. We'll go and fold it up, pick it up, looking good. We'll drop it down, just check the height. Height looks good as well. All right. I don't know if I can get this around here without hitting anything. <laughs> oh boy, I'm excited. New combine harvester on the farm, baby, yeah. Of course I'm stuck. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> uh, is this cringe yet? It feels very, very cringeworthy. All right. So this combine harvester is going to go to the other field. I got to move. Get, you know what? Give me a second. All right. Just stay stay where you are. Don't move. One thing we don't want is three combine harvesters. So we'll go over here. By the way, this is the mobile workshop mod. I had somebody asking me uh, for a previous video and uh, just commented on their video like a, a minute ago. So yeah, mobile workshop mod. Good to go there. Oh, I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I need to get this worker hired before I can use the new combine harvester. No. Well, hang on. Did the combine harvester really sell for $47,000? Oh, I got it used. I forgot about that part. Maybe, maybe moving forward, we double check and see the, I think I made 80 grand on something that cost me 500 overall, maybe even more. Yeah, we started with nine, 900,000 something. Oh boy, I'm bad with money. Workers hired now. Let's jump into the new boy right here. We'll double check. Uh, straw swath enabled. We need to make sure we do that because I want all the swath off of the straw. Drop it in, do it to it. Uh, is the speed set up yet? No, it's not. Now it is. Have I talked to myself a lot during this video, or is it just me? I, I feel like I've talked to myself a whole lot. I, I apologize to anyone watching at home getting uh, getting whiplash right now. <laughs> okay, this, this is pretty epic right here. 
Oh, yeah. I'm still going to run two headlands around the fields, but I tell you what, it ain't going to take long to get them done. That's for sure. Oh, I love it. Well, guys, that is going to be it for the second supercut in the Comston Farm series. There's going to be at least one more with episodes 21 through 30, and then a final video with all 30 episodes in the series, so you can watch them all in order nonstop for like 10 hours. It's going to be crazy. Otherwise, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos of any kind here on the channel. I'll be said. Hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Peace.